What's going on, guys? RBP is brought to you by Manscaped, and this month they are teaming up with the Testicular Cancer Society. They're doing T-shirts, We Save Balls, and they're also doing a special Lawnmower 4.0 with the purple stripe to raise awareness. Um, if you guys know anybody who has testicular cancer or you want to help raise awareness, go to manscaped.com, use code RBP to get 20% off and free shipping. I'll let you guys check out the site if you haven't been there. They have everything you need for men's hygiene they also have some boxers and stuff like that but uh the lawnmower 4.0 is awesome they have different scents like colognes and deodorants things like that nail kits uh the nose trimmer anything you could need to make sure you're fresh listen springtime's coming around it's going to get warmer you want to keep yourself fresh you want to keep yourself clean get to manscape.com use code rbp and get 20 percent off free shipping keep yourself straight for the warmer weather What's up, man? What up? Your hair's growing, kind of. Yeah, coming back. It's in the ugly phase. <laughs> I'm just joking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. <laughs> just, I don't even have hair. Just don't worry. I don't even, don't listen to me. No, no, you don't even have hair. What's going on, man? How are you? I'm good. What? Uh, I'm good. What's new this week, Nick? I haven't done a uh, podcast in a while. I took a fucking, I took like a four day hiatus. That's okay. I've been kind of just doing my own thing. I canceled a couple podcasts. That's okay. It happens. I, do you ever, well, I don't know if you can uh, maybe sympathize. What? Sometimes I put shit aside that has to be done. Like, I don't know why. I don't know if it's because I got a motorcycle or it's just been busy with like doing off-roading shit. I've just been doing some other shit this week. Yeah, you're enjoying life a little bit. Yeah, so I kind of put off the podcast and I feel guilty about it. Is that is no. that bad? No, sometimes you need to take a step back, enjoy life a little bit, and then get back to it. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what I needed. I just needed a couple days. You just needed a little break. To just do like whatever. You know, it's funny. I haven't really taken a break since I started the podcast. No, you haven't. You've been like, pretty consistent. Like for... we've never really like taken like a couple weeks off and just, you know, gone away. And sometimes you just need to take a you know, little break. So I'm allowed? Look at my new mug. <laughs> it's Texas, baby. I figure it's, next... it's like you said, speak it into existence. Is that the next is that the next move? Uh one day, man. I got a lot going on here, but it's I, I don't want to keep saying it because people keep asking me when I'm gonna move. But it's it's in my plans eventually. I just I got to make it happen. I need more money. This delicious coffee. What kind of coffee? An espresso. Oh, yeah, that's good. Um, yeah. So I just took a little bit of hiatus, and uh, I bought a new motorcycle. No, you ride it yet? No, no, I bought another new motorcycle. So you have two? So the first motor motorcycle I bought was like this little motorcycle that I thought I would ride for a couple months just to learn on. You didn't like it? I like it. It's just I'm like way too big for it. And I learned how to ride and like I actually literally rode from the dealership home, which is like half an hour away. So I learned how to ride in like five minutes. And I'm like, and somebody messaged me when I posted that picture of that bike and they're like, dude, you're going to ride that thing for a week and you're going to wish you didn't buy it. And they're fucking right. So you returned it. You can't return. It. You can't return it. So now I, it's for sale now. So I have it up for sale on like uh, Kijiji. Do you guys have Kijiji in the States? Or no, oh. you guys, you guys have Craigslist. Craigslist. Yes. Yeah. It's like the same thing in Canada. So I put it on there for like, I'll probably lose like a thousand dollars or something on it. Unfortunately. That's all but, right. I, I had to go, I went with the safe route and I bought like the smaller bike so I could learn. And now I think I'm ready for a big bike. But now after a half hour drive home, you're ready to make a big move. <laughs> no, man, I've been riding it every day for like five days. And it literally, and then I rode a couple friends, a couple friends of mine have Harleys. So I rode those and I'm like, man, it's the same thing. It's just a little bit heavier bike. And it's obviously faster, but like, it's not, it's not any harder. You know what I mean? So I'm like, yeah, sure. so I moved up. Let me show you.
I bought this. I bought this. Uh, where is it? No, not the ST. I bought this. That's it there. Hey, Ian, yeah. what's going on? I'm not showing your screen. Long time no see. Oh, I'm not showing my screen? Why don't you say something, Nick? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're this. not showing the screen. This. <laughs> what the fuck's wrong with you, Nick? Well, Ian came on. I was distracted by his beautiful yeah. face. Thank you. Yeah, we haven't seen Ian in a little while. How are you, Ian? Good. Yeah, great. Well, when was the last Why time you had him on the show? Will you fucking cancel me? What's, what's the deal? We have a beef. <laughs> we got a beef? <laughs> the internet has dictated we must have a beef. Everybody said we had a beef, so I was like, I had to make it, make it real. Yeah. Yeah, you got to make it official. If no, I don't know why. You know what? It's weird. I, I had Justin on a couple times, and then I was telling uh, Nick I canceled the podcast a couple days because I was like, just kind of enjoying my life. Yeah, and I was traveling and shit. Like, yeah, and you were traveling yeah. the one day we were going to do it, so it just kind of turned out that way. Yeah, but anyway, I was telling um, me and you talked about it actually, Ian. I was telling Nick I I already bumped up to my next bike. Not yet, you yeah, didn't. No. Yeah, I did. I bought this today. No, you didn't. Yeah, I did. Yes, you did. I bought this today. So what? What did you do with your first bike? I'm selling it. What you drive? You put it, for, it on. You put it on GG. I put it on GG. You, you drive it for two days? No, five days. <laughs> Are you serious right now, dude? It's so. Yeah. It's just so simple. It's so small. It's like it's so. You said, small. Fuck this bike. I already outgrew it. Yeah. Okay. Just don't no, kill yourself. No, it's like it's. Listen, it's not. I mean, <laughs> look at that's a nice bike though. Yeah, that's a very nice bike. <laughs> yeah. So, no, I rode a couple of my friends' Harleys, and I was like, this isn't really any harder. It's just big. No, no, no. So I was like, okay, cool. And I, I took your bike like that where the center is like low, like where you're sitting yeah. low like that is not going to be very difficult to drive. Well, and I took your advice because you said, you know, don't get false confidence and go buy a sport bike. Yeah. And I don't really want a sport bike anyway. So I bought a, another cruiser. It's just a little bit bigger. So it looks like it fits me. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. So, no, I understand. I know some of those smaller bikes, especially the Honda like that, like, it's it's like you feel like it's like don like Donkey Kong in Mario Kart, you know? I'm riding like the thing around the, the little, like, you know? <laughs> I'm riding her thing yeah, around the city and I'm like, I'm like, I, how many people are laughing at me right now? Because yeah. I'm like way too big for this bike. Yeah. Like it was to the point where like I'm riding and the mirrors are like hitting my arms. Like it's not even like I can't even see who's behind me. So I'm like, fuck it, time to move up. So I got a new bike. So anyway. Nice. When you get it uh it's all licensed and ready to go i was gonna get it today but it was raining so i'm gonna go tomorrow and pick it up nice and will you just throw that in the back of your truck or you just drive it home no i'm just gonna drive it home yeah. you're gonna drive it home. yeah fuck that i don't want to pick it and throw it who has a big boy now <laughs> i put on my big boy pants and i go pick it up <laughs> he puts on his assless leather chaps i gotta put on my <laughs> <laughs> i gotta go buy all the harley shit now i'm gonna be start yeah. wearing rings and shit you be one of those guys. Guys. no i'm not gonna be one of those guys i'm going to no. i'm going to f1 this weekend I saw you post something like that. Yeah. You what? Well, how did that come about? I didn't know you were an F1 fan. What? That's my shit, bro. It's in Miami. It's right here. So it's, I was like, fuck it. Let's do it. Go. I didn't know that was your shit. That's your shit? I love Formula One, yeah. Have you ever... Do you like doing it or just watching it? Or both? Do I like what? Driving Formula One cars? Obviously, I don't know. No, I, like, have you been on a track? Not in a Formula One car, you asshole. I just mean, like, in a normal car. I went, I went to the track with you. We've literally been to the track I together. know, but, like, other than that. Have you, have you, no, have you look, I'm not into driving myself, like... I'm that's not, that's what I. That's, that's what I meant. Me. No, what that's you, what Jay I mean. Cutler. What? So, what are you, Jay Cutler? People drive you around all day. No, going to the racetrack, you dum dum. Oh yeah, who has dum dum? So yeah, no, like it's look. I I would find that enjoyable, but that's not a hobby of mine. No. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a spectator. Huh? I missed you, buddy. I know. I haven't seen you in a long time. Why do you think I had him on? We haven't. He hasn't been with the crew in a little while. We had beef. Oh, okay. Thank you. Let's let everybody beef. Want, drink a little slower so we can all see your Texas Cup, pal. I already Thanks showed it. Set. I already showed everybody before you came. He's on. already showed it. <laughs> nice. So Ian's going to Formula One. How much does that cost? Oh, do you really want to know? Do I say yeah. this? On, I don't want to be hey, like a great way. No, who cares, man? It's a. Hey, what are you event. doing? Going to Formula One, Miami this weekend. You're going to watch it. Yeah. No, he's going to drive Formula One cars, stupid. I fucking wish. You said but he's yeah. going to Formula One. I'm like, uh, you're going I'm just laughing Formula at you because he just said that to me when I said, do you like doing it? He was all. <laughs> oh. 
uh, anyways so i got i got grandstand so like the main my like seats are right at the start line essentially like right i want to wear bring headphones like yeah oh yeah you yeah. go definitely yeah um, i'm like right at the start line eight throw up um and those were 1750 us per ticket holy fuck wow. yeah and then they give you 500 dollars of fees per ticket so all in all it ended up being 4700 bucks us for two people and Jesus, you and I watch cars. I'm good. I watch. Yeah, don't don't tell Melissa. She doesn't know. She's not here though. <laughs> yeah. I guess when you when you win a bunch of shows and play seven, it was more that like it was more like that. this. Look, I like Formula One, and I was like, there's not many opportunities like in North America to watch Formula One races. Like you have Montreal. There's a Texas race, and then this, and there's going to be a Vegas race that's new too. But right here, I'm like, man, I live an hour and forty minutes from Montreal from uh, from Miami. You know, it's fucking beautiful out right now. I'm like, this will just be fun. You know. Yeah. So I just thought it'd be a great fun thing for me and Melissa to do. And there was still some good tickets left. So I fucking just gave her, you know, they have, one, yeah. they have one in uh, Detroit and they do it on Belle Isle, which is right across Detroit river from me. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. I swear to God. So I, when I was living with my parents, they lived like just across Riverside drive well, and I could, you could hear them. Like I would wake up in the morning. Like if I didn't remember it was that weekend, it would wake me up in the morning. You could hear yeah. the cars in Detroit from Windsor zipping, loud, around, the, zipping around the fucking track. That's yeah. how loud it is. It's loud, crazy loud. Yeah. Yeah. So fucking five. You know what though? Five grand is a lot of money, but fucking, I've learned this weekend after getting a motorcycle and after going it's, off, road, this off is, roading, life is about experiences. This is yeah. what I said. When it's look, if this was a material object, it's like okay, oh but this God. is an experience. Like driving a bike is an experience. Going to Formula One is an experience. And I'm like, I'm not gonna pass up an experience that like, okay. you know, that I, I'm not gonna get often. It's something I enjoy. So I was like, fuck it, you know. Yeah, be- I. Uh, I went off-roading in my TRX this week. I, I saw you guys out there doing shit. I feel bad for this <laughs> sucker that's going to buy that thing. I was like, oh, God, don't watch it. I know. I was like, whoever buys this is a poor, sad soul. I Did fucking, you destroy it? Or? Oh, my God. I beat the piss out of that truck. It's awesome. I fucking took it around the dirt track. I'm the only – there was one other guy there with a nice truck. He had a Raptor. But he was literally like going over hills like this. He's like, just like, yeah. <laughs> going, you're catching like, your bike. Meanwhile, I'm you're like, catching air. like fucking catching air. Fucking just, it was great. Though. I had the best time ever. And you know what? It's probably going to cost me like four grand because I broke <laughs> Play some suspension links and shit. For I, no, sure. no, no. Suspension held up very, very good. Even the links, so, everything, everything held up great. The truck. I'm actually very, very impressed with the truck. This is what happened. So there's one uh, rock climbing wall that, my brother was going to go up in his can-am and he got a little bit nervous about it so i'm like i'll fucking go up into my truck so i go up this thing and i thought at the top of the of the top of the hill there was a flat platform oh what but, but it wasn't it went up and then down so i went up and i couldn't see and then the fucking truck goes over and i fucking caught on the my back tires went up in the air yeah and i was like oh shit so then I'm, I'm like this on the fucking way down. All the people with their Can-Ams get off their Can-Ams. They run up. They're like, dude, how are you going to get down? I'm like, I don't fucking know. <laughs> so, so I'm like, my brother's standing outside this window. I'm in the truck and I'm like maneuvering like not even like one inch at a time. One at a time, yeah. Just trying to get it like down this. <laughs> yeah. And then so, so my brother's like, turn the wheel, turn the wheel this way, turn the wheel that way. Finally, I got to the bottom. But when I got to the bottom, I realized, so I have retractable steps on my oh, yeah. TRX. Yeah. Same as so I have on my truck. The right side retractable step broke right off. Really? Oh. <laughs> Bracket broke right off. So I mean, like, they're not cheap, but like out of all the things to break, that's yeah, like, it's not bad, right? So I picked yeah. it up and I threw it in the back of my bed oh. so that could be replaced. Yeah. And then the the dual exhaust, the right side exhaust has a bracket that holds the exhaust up. That bracket broke. So the exhaust yeah, is easy. like hanging like four inches that's down. Easy. So those are the only two things. And then I think the skid plate on the very, very front, you know, that gray piece guy they have? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, yep. so that skid plate, I think on the left-hand side has a little ding in it. So I might have to replace the skid plate too. But overall, for the amount of fucking like- Did it hold up good? Oh my God. You know what? That thing is just as advertised. My buddy I, said, he goes, you'll never be able to kill that fucking engine or that truck. Oh my, honestly, man, I'm totally, my brothers were blown away. Like- Cause you know, like everybody sells like, oh, the Ram and the fucking Raptor and they're off-road. And sometimes I've heard people say to me, like, they're not really off-road. They're just like yeah. fake, fake off-road. Right. Yeah. That fucking Ram is real off-road. I, when you went in that puddle, I was like, he ain't getting out. 
I thought I wasn't getting out. I was like, he ain't getting out. I was like, he just fucking ruined his fucking lightning sale. I saw, I saw videos of you guys doing it, but I only saw with the uh, the side by sides. I didn't see your truck. One second, let me. Oh, uh, he posted a video. Andy looked like he went through a fucking quicksand. So I, I go like, in this. Oh. I go. <laughs> I go in this little lake, and I thought it wasn't that deep. And then I'm like, oh sh! I get in it. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I don't know if that's I'm going to get that, out. That's a good way to kill the engine. Just flood it with water. No, but the, the TRX breathes from the nostrils, right? So you can get, yeah. like, pretty deep. So this is me going over. Yeah. And then I see this lake over here, and I'm like, I'm going in there, right? So I start driving oh, in, and then, I, and then I get stuck. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? So I just kept flooring it. I'm like, fuck this. I'm getting out of here, man. So I kept hammering. Right here. Back. I thought you were done. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Look at the exhaust. Did you get any water inside the inside the no, cab? No, the fucking thing's awesome. I pulled right out. When of you there. pulled out, you must have been so happy. Oh, dude, oh, I God, gave, you, you see the thumbs up right good. here. I gave him a thumbs up. I was like, I made it out. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. It was fucking awesome. Oh God, that's yeah, funny. man. It was good times. That's sick. But uh, so yeah, so I uh, lived life a little bit this weekend. Feels good too. It's man. good, man. You needed it. You have no idea, man. There's so much like stress with fucking the company and the podcast is like ongoing every week and it's sometimes it's nice to just fuck off and not yeah. do anything work related bodybuilding related just i don't know it was good it was good it was kind of nice like that too, like because i had the sorry go ahead no no go ahead it's okay i was gonna say i had a couple days drive like down to florida just like me and my dad driving down and yeah. like not thinking about like i still eat my meals and that kind of shit but like you know, I like really didn't pay attention to social media or like anything. I was just like chilling with my dad in the truck. It was like, it was a nice break, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, I've lost my phone for an hour before and actually been pretty happy about it. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. it's a good thing to just like get yeah. away. You know, my yeah. Instagram got taken down for like, there was like five days. It was like, when? It was great. Not that bad. <laughs> at the Arnold, at the Arnold. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I lost it like that day and like five, five or six days it was gone. Can you get on TikTok from your from your desktop? I don't know. Can you? Oh. Fuck. <laughs> I've never tried. What the fuck just, are you watching, bro? I just logged on to TikTok. <laughs> Bullshit. What kind of shit you watch on TikTok? Um. <laughs> just whatever comes up. I don't know. I'm trying to find something for you guys. So I don't know how what? to find. I don't know how to find my account. Oh wait, yeah, I do. There I go. Check this out. So this is my brother's first time driving a can amp. That looks like, like you driving the M2. Look at, look at, watch. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> there she goes. Is everybody go running? Oh yeah, we all went running over. He was strapped in, thank God. I went out without a seatbelt on, like an idiot. He actually strapped in, so he didn't he didn't get hurt at all. I think his shoulder was bothering me a little bit but he was okay <laughs> but um we all ran those things are so easy to flip though man if you're going fast yeah that was the first time and it was funny because it was at the end of his run he got he went for this long drive and came back at the very end tipped it the yeah. second time he's gonna go for a run he gets in he's like okay here i go he takes off literally turned to get on the course dumped it again <laughs> we're like what the fuck so all four of us ran over paul came we all ran over and picked it up those things are fucking there's no damage no, they're indestructible. It's totally fucking but fine. That cage is meant. That's literally what it's meant for. You know? like, and even, the, even the plastic, oh. even the plastic pieces, totally like everything yeah. held together. Totally fine. No, they're pretty durable. Those things. Anyways, guy, what have you been up to? How's the girlfriend? Bro, speaking of girls. Oh, here we go. Hear, did you hear what I said on TikTok? Or on TikTok? On Telegram. On Telegram. On Telegram. Yeah. yeah, go ahead. Tell. Dude, I was in the gym yesterday. And I have no problem screaming, grunting, fucking, like, telling people to fucking move the weight. Like, yeah, you know, we know. Training. there was a girl, two girls in my gym. They cleared out every, like, three benches in front of the dumbbell rack. I've never seen these girls there before. Couldn't have been older than 20 fucking three, four. And they're doing hip press, like, fucking the, the, meanwhile, we have a huge hip press thing in the back where you can just buckle into and make life a lot easier. But nope, you got to fucking be the girl with the big bar and the fucking pad and the weights. And I'm like training. So I got my headphones on, but I had one headphone like up. I hear this girl loud as can be. The girl's trying to set her up to do it. I've never seen these girls in my gym. And the girl goes, ow, that kind of hurt my pussy. And I was like, I saw you talk about that on telegram. I was, I was like, like, did I, I was, just hear that? I was like, why is he offended by that? Because if, if, if a guy said, ow, that, my dick. That, 
Yeah, I think so? I think yeah. Did I used to I've swear never all the time? Say, Ow, my pussy! In Are you the gym. getting super old or something? What's the big deal? Somebody swore. No, I'm just like I. I'm just, I and maybe it actually hurt her pussy. Yeah, but I think of things like <laughs> if that came out of my mouth, what <laughs> the reaction would be. <laughs> And I'm like, why can a girl get away with saying, ow, my foot? Who said, can't get away? Dick. What? Who's going to stop be, you if you say, oh, my God. They would go right to the front desk and make this guy's fucking no, talking they, about his no, way. No, they wouldn't. No way. Man. Absolutely. If you're getting this old. This must be a fucking Jersey thing, man. There's no, no way anywhere it's else. Must be a, it must be wait, wait, wait. True or false? Have you guys ever heard a girl say in the gym, in public, just loud, ow, that hurt my pussy? No. No, but I've heard me. plenty of guys hit something and be like, ah, oh, my fucking dick, and no one cares. No one cares. Yeah. I used to get, I used to literally get up from every hard set and go, oh, fuck, fucking cunt. <laughs> Nobody would say anything. I, listen, I just said, I'll trade him like, fuck. Yeah. Saying fuck is one thing being like, my fucking penis. Look, look, I'll admit it sounds like it's like a little, it's a little sharp to the ears of a girl. Okay, that's, like, what, that's what I'm saying. Like, 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 if I ever yeah. piss my no, no, cock, I'm, I'm not saying sympathize with five. a being. No, no, I'm, I'm not, not saying it. Listen, I'm not saying it's it's offside because I don't think it is. I think if a guy said it, it would be fine too. But if I heard that, like when a girl says "ow my pussy," it's just like it's it's got like a sharpness to it. Yes, I think it's, exactly. I think it's, I think it's awesome. And like when you're, I don't think it's not awesome, but it, I understand where he's coming from. But when you're with a guy and you heard it, you're just like, "Oh my fucking dick!" Like yeah. if you pinch it, you don't go, "Ow oh, my dick!" No, it's, it's not like yelling. Like, maybe oh, he screamed it out loud. Like didn't yeah, give think a about fuck this around. But think about it. Maybe it actually hurt her pussy and she was in pain, wasn't thinking yeah. about being quiet. Well, she's like, no, oh, no, 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 because she, she stood there with the weight and was like, how that kind of hurt my pussy. Yeah, I was right. like, what, what exercise was she performing that her pussy hurt? I just thrust. Were you thrust. there the first two minutes of the conversation? Hip, hip thrusts. <laughs> I explained everything to a T. I always actually wonder with hip thrusts if the bar is like on their clit, doesn't it hurt? No, it's supposed to be on their like, uh, like right below their belly. I bar. know, but if the bar rolls forward Bro, onto their clit, you know where a clit is. <laughs> well, it depends how big it is, Ian. <laughs> no, I'm talking about the bar. Not bar. the clit. This is like, oh. I'm talking about the, like the bar. Well, the it's bar like, is not it's like down there. Ian, no, it's like I've never seen that. The bar. If the clit's big I'm enough, it's like button. it's kind of like this. Yeah, but it's going this way, not this way. No, but look, it's kind of like, like that. What kind of clit is that? That's a yeah. I don't know. I don't know if it would work, man. That's I got your nose. <laughs> got, your, got your nose. <laughs> like, yeah, if you had the bar straddled between your legs, sure, but not going this way, I don't think. Yeah. If the clit's big enough and it rolls forward, it could. Okay, so are we making an assumption that this girl has a big thumb clit? She's well, on I think, if it hurt, I think if it hurt her pussy, it must have. She's, She's all good. Set. Yeah. Right? Well, if, you're, if, you're, if, you're a, if you're a woman and you're watching this, please let us know. Can the bar hit your clit? at all if you're doing history. no let us know if it's appropriate to say ow my pussy in the gym of course loud. it's appropriate oh my pussy what's wrong with you you do a set and say oh fuck that was hard what's the difference i'm just using oh, fuck as a general statement i'm not saying my fuck my dick so maybe somebody's offended by you saying fuck every time you finish a set that's different you know what guy thing. i think you're yeah. being very sexist and that because you're a man yeah, you think I think you're so allowed too. to say things and that woman should be womanly and you're yeah. being very sexist. Yeah. Hey, Ian, i didn't know you went away for fucking three weeks and came back sensitive now <laughs> you're misogyny you're the one being sensitive Mr. you're being sensitive Mr. Right? I'm just said, ian said it, it's got a ring to it that's all i said guys like it ring. hurt guys like it hurt my ears oh my <laughs> god that's how my pussy hurt. <laughs> it's got a sharpness to it but that's uh, it. it does <laughs> It's like you would say it, just keep it there, keep it there, like tell your friend, like, oh, that kind of hurt my pussy. Okay, guys who are watching, if you heard a girl say, ow, my pussy hurts, would you be offended? I'd laugh. I wasn't offended. I was just like, yeah, really? I would look offended. I'd laugh. I'd I would laugh. I would too. I'd start laughing. Yeah. I would not mind at all. <laughs> Nick would be like, let me see. <laughs> yeah. I'd be like, no, man, sure oh, my pussy hurts. Nick would be like, eat my ass. <laughs> He'll be like, let me see where it hurts. Let me see. I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go in. I'm a doctor. Eat my ass. <laughs> I pussy hurts. Lick my butt. Did you say lick my butt? <laughs> okay. I guess because I've never heard a girl say that in the gym, it just took me like by surprise. I was like, yeah. It's because you're old fashioned guy. You think guys can be say whatever they want and girls? No, 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 no. I do not. It's not true. Guy doesn't think. Guy told me that he doesn't think women should be allowed to vote. <laughs> or he told me they should be allowed to drive. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Vote or drive. Yep. Yeah. Or, wear, or, or, or show anything but their eyes. Yeah. <laughs> Cover those ankles, ladies. 
<laughs> no ankles. <laughs> so if me and you were working out and I, and I like put a dumbbell on my lap and it hit my dick and I was like, oh, my dick, you'd be like offended? I'd be like, bro, fucking don't say that loud. <laughs> really? I don't know. I, you know you what it is? You say shit, bro. Come on. I, dude, I've crunched my oh, fucking shit in between like machines. I'm like, oh, my fucking jerk. Yeah, but if you yeah. said it loud, I wouldn't be like, guy, don't be so loud. I wouldn't I scream cry. out my cock funny. in the middle of the gym. I just wouldn't do it. Well, no, no. We don't say cock. We say dick. Yeah, dick is better. All right. Yeah, sorry, don't say cock fucking... or like penis or anything. That's weird. But if you say yeah, dick. If she said, if she oh, said, my cock. If she said, oh, my cunt. Out or... my vagina. <laughs> no, if she said, oh, my cunt. Then I'd be like, that's a little. <laughs> No that's girl would a, say that. That's just a little, like, no girl. A no mess. girl would say that. But Not would be, one girl in this world would say that. But wouldn't it be girls would say that? But it says a lot about the girl if she, that's the word she uses. <laughs> wouldn't it be yeah. hilarious? If you heard that though. I'd yes. be like, you had a fucking pendiflex of words to use to refer to your vagina, and you fucking landed on cunt. You had a what? Uh, it's a very specific type. Wait, of wait, wait. You had a what? A pendiflex, one of the things that open up with all the slits. I never like, even, oh, I've never even heard that word before. Okay, good. I just learned, thanks, guys. I just learned something. Yeah, new. Just show, he's showing his age left, right, and center on this episode. Yeah. Pendiflex, kind of when I keep my fucking eight by tens in. Yeah, he keeps it next to his Rolodex. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I got it from stable. It says pendiflex on. I think it's just like a like a cheap fucking jump yeah, off. I, of, yeah, uh, I have to say, I, I missed your assholishness. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> I didn't. You used to side with me. Well, he, okay, he doesn't. I, Ian doesn't take any sides. He shits on everybody. I'm the only yeah, one this, that kind of sided with you here. Is this your yeah. penda, penda flex? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you are old as fuck. <laughs> but you want to say card catalog? Make it even older. Yeah. <laughs> card catalog. <clears throat> Anyways, um, so how's your girlfriend? You change the topic because it's stupid. We do this every week. Yeah, and one day you're going to just admit that you have a girlfriend and tell us about it. Yeah, tell me about her. I haven't heard about her. What's her name? Yeah, yeah how is she? You got to see her, and she's actually pretty cute. Well, let me see. Pull her up. I can't find any photos. Because <laughs> it's all it's all bullshit. No, it's not bullshit. He's just lying. So, so, wait, you don't have a girlfriend? He does have a girlfriend. He does have a girlfriend. Would your girlfriend be happy to know that you're saying you don't have a girlfriend? Say you don't have a girlfriend, guy. I don't have a girlfriend, guy. Say, say... I'm not seeing anyone. I'm not seeing anybody. Anybody? anybody. Why did he change anyone to anybody? Because he's trying to play word I'm games not. with me. I mean, blink. I'm in blank. Say, you say I haven't had sex in the last two weeks. I haven't had sex in a lot longer than two weeks. No. Have you made out? Swear on your parents' lives. Have you made out? What is what is this turn? Man, what are you an ex girlfriend? This is what they're trying to they're trying to do an ex now. Yeah, they're turning into an ex. Swear on your niece and nephew. Swear on your niece and nephew. Yeah, do it on your parents. I want to hear it. no sex last month. I don't ever do that. I don't understand well, if you why lying, you would, you would have no problem. No, I just don't swear on fucking people. <laughs> God forbid. Swear well, on understand. your dogs. Swear on what? What do you want me to swear? See what you turn this podcast into? What? For what? what? Are you happy? We'll I am happy. happy? I'm, so, I'm so happy. Are you happy? <laughs> This fucking character assassination. I'm really podcast. happy for you. I just want everybody else to be happy for you also. Is they she, can when I have a girlfriend. Is she what's her, what's her name, though? Yeah. If she had a name, she unique. No, 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 no. Not if she has no, a she's name. She's not a so unique. You're a liar. She, she's black. Why well, should she have to be automatically black? Well, she's kind Shanique. of a black I'm just name. going by, like, I'm being a little racist, but, like, <laughs> just going by a generalization. You not know? really. A if, if, <laughs> if a name... <laughs> If a guy's name is Fuad, you don't can't think be a little white. racist. They're either racist. No, I mean, or not. like if your name if your name is Ian, you're probably white. So I mean, it's yeah. like, like no, no, no. I have friends that are Ian no, that are no, not of no, white. No. What are no. they? They're black. No, that's oh wait, that's probably true. Are they British though? No, Ian Gaines from from fucking Gasman Better Bodies. Okay, but wait a minute, Shanique is a little different than Ian. Like that's if you're true. if you're Fuad, you're probably of Arab descent. Yeah, you're not going to be a fucking white guy. They're the only that. Fuad that I know. Yeah, but if you knew other ones, they would be Arabic. If, if, if I met a fool and he said I was black white. and he was black, I'd be like, oh, cool. Yeah, but you won't meet one most likely. That's what I'm saying. And if you meet a if you meet a Gaetano sister Nino, you probably assume. First of all, it's not Gaetano. Gaetano. It's not Gaetano. What is it? Gaetano. 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 So would, would we ever Gaetano. find would we ever find like a Chinese Gaetano? Possibly. Probably not. Probably <laughs> no, not. you probably will. I <laughs> okay, wait. wait. Google this is the Google. Point. Hold on. Google Gaetano. Are you trying to say that certain names don't belong to certain races? Are you being that stupid? 
No, but I'm saying there could be a flood. I'm just there saying could that. be, but most that's likely. That's why I also admitted. That's why I also admitted I was being a, like a little bit racist. You know? A little bit. Just a little. <laughs> a, like a, a it was a little bit of a generalization, but a like it's just is a, good yeah. in this in this podcast. Yeah. We need a yeah. sprinkle yeah. of racism. <laughs> like, look, okay, wait. This is the thing, though. If you had to, if they're like a million dollars, yeah. This girl's name Shanique. What race is she? Yeah. We're all black. I would, I would go with African American. Okay, yes. well there we go. Why'd you say African American and not black? Isn't it the same thing? <laughs> Are you allowed to say black anymore? Is that a thing? I think you're allowed to say black. Yeah, why not? Not all black people. Who knows? Not all, not all black people are from Africa. True. Right. Yeah. Like if somebody calls me brown, I don't get offended. That's you. Well, somebody, calls saying, me, somebody calls me an asshole, I don't get offended. <laughs> I'm just saying it's not offensive. <laughs> like if, we call, if we call Ian white, it's not offensive. He's white. Yeah. Right? Or am I? Olive. <laughs> so we have white, olive, brown. What's Nick? He's white. white. Hmm. So why Ooh, am I what, not brown? I'm white, bro. What do, you, what do you think I am? Yeah, what are Italians? Are they white? Olive. We're white. Well, technically they're Caucasian. So I don't know. What do you identify as? white italians are technically caucasian yeah. right i don't know mm. are we're, well we're italians. Italians. they're gonna caucasian. say they're gonna say you're they're gonna say european watch yeah but no, i mean I'm, I'm i'm european technically too i mean here wait we do not classify as european sure screen <laughs> how italians become became white <laughs> are you serious Caucasian countries. Yeah, Italy's in there. Look. Yeah. Right here. Boom. Isn't that it right there? Or no, this no, one. it's the boot right there. This one, yeah. Yeah, it's the boot. Yeah. Yeah. So look at all the Caucasian countries. What the fuck? Yeah, bro. That's our white privilege right there. <laughs> <That's>, yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, it looks pretty it looks pretty fucking equal to me. You see why we got that white privilege? Yeah, I do. But this That'd is be- saying like Turkey's Caucasian too. Isn't this Turkey? Turkey. Right Turkey. Isn't this Turkey right here? Yeah, it is. Turkey. Yes. 85 million. Turkey's not Caucasian, but I guess it is, according to this. In modern usage, Caucasians is a term largely by scholars to be outdated and obsolete by racially categorized a person. Read white it out loud. Co- no, you can. Okay. Categorize a person with light colored or white skin, like most racial categorizations. The term has fallen into disuse as increasing evidence confirms that race is a social construct rather than genetic classification. Oh, fuck off. Okay. I don't want to get into race as a social, social construct. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's like a, like a trigger. Well, the, the comment section will yeah. be fucking destroyed. Moving on. Moving on before I trigger everybody and myself included. Um, Next subject, please. How would you so, get triggered? So she's not Shanique. Who is she then? We're back to this. Well, what do you think I was going to forget? Are you you ashamed of her? That's what I was thinking. Or you just don't want, like she, she, she explicitly said, I don't want to be talked about on the podcast. Is that what happened? She would be, uh, if if she existed, then she would say that. Oh, okay. Let's move on. I've uncovered something here. Yes. You definitely uncovered the truth. Yeah. Okay, well, moving on then. Why don't you just say that to begin with? Just no, it's my, good. My that, was the, just... that was an admission right there. That's all we needed. He's got a girlfriend. Moving on. But you should have just said that. She said my girlfriend doesn't want to talk to him on the podcast. Yeah. Well, I didn't say that. Well, you kind of did. <laughs> did? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Nick, did I? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay. I don't know why I said that. Is that how it came off? Yeah. Pretty yeah. Good. This podcast for the first fucking 15 minutes just threw me off completely. Why? I have no idea what we're doing. Look, I want to show you guys this. Check this out. Okay. These shirts are going to be given away at the Aries Nutrition RBP. Oh, meetup. shit. Do I get one? Yeah. They're going to be sold at the meetup. So it's Real Bodybuilding Podcast. And on the back, obviously, that's a combination of that's me. the hostile symbol and the Aries Nutrition symbol. So it's hostile and Aries Nutrition. Oh, I can't wear, wait to wear one, not wear one. Well, because you're guys not allowed to. You're on the wrong. You're on the wrong team, guy. <laughs> you just need it's not my fault. I'll wear it that day. <clears throat> um, but yeah, these will be sold at the event, and just to just to let you guys know, tickets are going on sale. Well, yeah, Aries asking me about that. So tickets go on sale 
tomorrow, but when this airs, this will air tomorrow. So tickets will be on sale today. Yes. So just go on sale today. Now yeah. they're on sale right now. Go get them. Get them. Go order your now, now, now. link in description below. <laughs> Hit chance. the buzzer while you're at it. Turn on <laughs> notifications. This is the meetup, June 19th, 2022, Aries Nutrition, Hamilton Township, New Jersey. Um yeah. so is it is this is this the crew that's gonna do the the pod glide podcast too? This is uh, the, six, the six the six of us, yeah. I don't know if there was. I don't know if James was flying in or like. No, no, James else. and Roman. They're too far away, so it's just going to be us six. And uh, maybe Paul. Paul might come as well. You going to go for a nice uh, motorcycle roadie drive right down to New Jersey? Uh, that's not a bad idea, actually. You should do it. Really? I okay. gotta be. I gotta be in Wisconsin. The only, the only thing I worry about that. What do you do if it fucking rains and you're halfway there? You pull out under a bridge and you chill until it stops raining, and then you keep going. Or you check the weather and make sure the day you leave it just doesn't. No, rain I mean, look, it sh- shit happens. You're fine. Just stop for a bit and keep going. You're good. Yeah. Do you need to ride it? Do, mean guys ride, do you guys ride in the rain? Yeah. So it's only really dangerous to drive right when it starts raining because yeah. that's when like all the oils and the cement oh, like yeah. rise to the surface. But yeah. when it's been raining for a while, it's not like it's obviously more dangerous than dry cement, but it's not like as bad as fresh rain. Yeah. How long did you ride for, Ian? I don't. I don't. You don't have a I've bike at all. Bike- uh like i have ridden bikes and i owned a bike but like i don't ride bikes now my dad has drove bikes for my whole life though so you kind of rode so so you kind of rode your dad's bikes here and there is that what you mean well no like a lot of my buddies have bikes that like you know i've driven bikes around i I did own a kawasaki bike a custom 900 for a while oh nice yeah i can't Uh, can't but my dad when he first got his bike license i remember i was like nine or ten he bought like a big gold wing you know yeah and my dad's not a big guy my dad's like Five eight one forty, you know. Yeah. And within like a week of getting his license, he drove it all the way to BC. Yeah, I remember you told me that. Yeah. Yeah. No. That's why I thought of. It's funny. I thought of him when I went to get my bike from Tilbury, and it's not obviously BC. It's only half an hour away. But I'm like, you know what? I'm going to do what Ian's dad did. I'm just going to go buy it. And I'm going to fucking drive it right home. Yeah. I'm not. I'm just going to learn. I'm just and gonna... you never drove one before. No. That would freak. Oh man. It's not hard. You know what? It's just like driving a car, like a stick. No, you know what it is? I, I don't you just need to understand clutches and that's it. Like once yeah. you understand the clutch and the gears, it's just like driving. Not even like- that. I've 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 been the first of three bike accidents and I've seen some scary shit and they just scare and I've had two friends die on bikes. They just scare me, man. I've had a couple friends pass and they my brother me. my brother was actually in a halo. He spent two weeks in the hospital and he spent I think four weeks in a halo after he got out of the hospital. So I've had I've had my share of people that have been injured on bikes or even passed on bikes, but I don't know, man. I feel like I don't drive a bike like I drive a car. I'm not like out there trying. No, to- even that it's just like if you're driving a bike and a deer right. in front of you, like you don't have the car to protect you. Like you're right. Look, no, I, but- I also don't think that you should live your life in fear. Of- no, 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 no. I'm not. No, no. I'm not. I just. I'm saying me. Yeah. Bike bikes scare me. I don't blame yeah, you. Perfect. I was the same way. I was the sure, same way. Yeah. I didn't do it the whole time I was bodybuilding for that exact reason, but now I'm yeah, done. That's bodybuilding. the reason I don't, I won't drive a bike now yeah. until I'm done bodybuilding. Listen, to be honest with you and not to be fucking dark, but we've had friends pass for no fucking reason. Well, not for no reason because of bodybuilding, whatever you want to say, or because of whatever reason you want to say it. We've had friends pass young and I'm like, fuck, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen for some reason. I just want to live my life. Yeah. I no, no, that's fine. Yeah, I'm just you know saying what, I'm saying? what I've no, seen no. scares me. Yeah, no, I listen. I agree with you. There's definitely a risk involved, but I just I my just grandfather wanna, rode a motorcycle. My dad has it. Yeah, I'm just at the point where I want to enjoy my life and do different shit. So we're going to the gun range next week. That's fun. So I'm gonna get my gun license and get that fucking done. So in Canada, I'm, I'm gonna get my license in Canada, but my brother lives in Michigan, so we're gonna drive over to Michigan. And uh, I don't think you have to have a license there, but I'm not sure if anybody watching knows a good gun range. In Michigan, please DM me uh, what where a good place to go is in Michigan. I'd like to know. I got a couple so, of friends in Michigan I could ask if you want. Yeah, please. Because yeah. we want to go. We just, you know, my brother just moved to Michigan. Like, When you year. come here, if you want, there's a gun range 50 minutes up the road. We can take my yeah. gun to go. We should figure that out. What's going on with, uh, this? Is, you know, we're only talking next month. Is anybody staying at your house or do, I got, do we got to book hotels or what's going on? Uh, there's a hotel up the road. I mean, I don't, whatever you guys want. I want to stay at your house. I want to use all your plates and utensils. Um, that's good because I'm going to make sure all the fucking cabinets are locked on my paper plates and paper utensils. I don't, I don't mind paper plates. <laughs> I'm going to rent an RV in Florida, drive and sleep in guys' driveway. Are you really? No, you're not. No, but that'd be sick, wouldn't it? It would be sick. I was going to say, I'm like, awesome. I'll, I'll fly maybe, to Florida. Maybe, maybe I will do that. that seems I'll like fly a good to idea. Florida. We'll drive together. 
Okay, do that. It'll be fun. I'll wake up in the morning and throw rocks at your RV so you wake up. It's not a man. I just did the drive. It's like literally not bad at all. Too. No, oh, I Florida. drove from I drove from Jersey to to, to Fort Worth. That was sixteen yeah. hours, seventeen hours. Yeah. It's sixteen hours from New Jersey to Florida. Hmm? Really? Yeah, you could do it in under twenty. Yeah. yeah. Nick, what do you, you mean? Wanna... Your head at? I did it in fucking high school with a Bronco too. Trust me, I did. I would never do it. Nick, you should come with me and Ian. No, no, I'm gonna stay at my mom's house. I'm good. <laughs> yeah, I bet. But you can ride to New Jersey in the RV. No, no, I'm, I'll catch a plane. I'll meet you guys there. <laughs> Oh, but you can you get know. you can get your meals in the RV. We'll have a kitchen. You want to know why he's saying that? For why I can get my meals in. He knows hostels covers the flight. No, it's not. Aries covered the flight. Covered, I, I ain't covering a fucking flight. <laughs> the drive is nice though. I just did the drive like from Ottawa down to here. It was like two yeah, days. Nick, it was actually a nice drive. Nick, save in an me, RV. Save me oh, the fucking truck, money. My new truck. Oh. Take the RV. You knew what? What? I'm okay. I, I'll new, take new the flight. New truck. Yeah, my new truck, and I pulled my Stinger and a trailer behind it. What'd you get? Oh, let me show uh, him. A Lariat, a 2022 Lariat F-150. Those are nice as hell. It's nice, yeah. Fully Same loaded. Same guy, too. if you didn't get a TRX, you could have got an F-150. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> this fucking guy is fucking shit talking. You should see uh, the truck. Guy, I love you it. so much. It's unbelievable. Oh, I saw it. Okay, I saw oh, I saw one. this. That's my the only picture you have of it, eh, Ian? Yeah, I mean, I could go. You don't the have like a full picture. What is this? Well, it's just a black F one hundred and fifty here. Watch. Black. So yeah. Well, no, just type in Lariat Sport. Sport. Ian, oh, shut up! It here. Still come up. <laughs> Sport. <laughs> it's third this. picture. There. Sad. Yeah. It's this. You got you the black rims Florida? too. Yeah, it looks identical to that. That's nice. Yeah. How do the insides look on the twenty twenty twos? Oh, they're so nice, man. They're ridiculous. Do the older ones like? No, I didn't like the old one. Look at this. Oh, Look at that's, this. Nice. that's the interior. Yeah. That's and nice. I have, uh, see the the one with the two-tone leather there, the brown and the black? That's what I have. Oh, I hate that. You have no, this? not that one. Top left. Second from the bottom left. Down one. Like yeah, this. Yeah, come on. Really? Oh, it looks so nice, man. You should have got this, the platinum one with the little corn no. stripe. I don't like that. That, like, that looks like more like the Ram. That's why. Well, Platinums have too much chrome on the outside, man. I look at the Platinums, oh, it's like they... owned everywhere. No, you're talking about the Limited. No, Platinums have the whole chrome back patch. Do they? Yeah. I don't think you're right. Oh, you mean on the tailgate? Yeah. Yeah, you just wrap it black. Fuck that. I don't want... I asked for zero chrome. I want no chrome. I know. I'm the same way. Yeah. I know I was looking at bikes. I was looking at a fat boy. That's the only reason I didn't buy it is because of fucking... Uh, it's all chrome. I'm like, I don't want that shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so this is the platinum. Yeah, see, it's like it's yeah, I don't like the chrome. Yeah, I don't either. I know. Like, look, the they're nice. Right. I mean, the interior is the same as mine, ninety nine percent. Yeah, and then it's like chrome on the outside that I don't want. You know? Yeah, yeah. So, so you like it's it called like a it's called like the blackout edition or something when it's all blacked out like that. Yeah, well, yeah. The, the Lariat Sport does yeah. just doesn't have chrome on it, and that's why I got that specific one. Yeah, yeah. What, and then uh, I just threw the, threw the stinger on a U-Haul trailer and drove it down behind it. You should have sold the stinger. No. Well, I mean, maybe, but not yet. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I, you like I, to make I, everybody I sell. I have the truck. I just want to drive the truck. I don't even drive the stinger. <laughs> the only why. thing this fucking podcast did was increase my fucking payments by two car, a car payment and a truck payment. <laughs> the only thing this podcast brought to me was more fucking bills. <laughs> I tried to talk you out of it, guy. You didn't listen. You tried to talk me out of that and into a lightning. Same fucking thing. No, when you before you bought the TRX, I was like, "Don't buy the TRX," and you're like, "You had to have it." So, do you have a TRX? Yeah. And he's complaining about it already. He's like, "Who's complaining about like it? it?" I love it. Except it eats gas. Like, oh, yeah. no tomorrow. <laughs> you can do it, it full. I drive and it goes like this. Yeah. <laughs> you can watch it. I mean, my truck. I have the the V6 twin. No. It's actually not bad, but. Yeah, the uh, my stinger with the tune on it now. You literally can just watch the needle drop on it. Yeah, yeah. Like I think I get 17, 18 liters per hundred kilometers on my stinger now, which is worse than my truck. Mm. I yeah. had like some Audi today pull up to me on the on the highway because like I was I was driving for like I was pulling up by him and he like sped up and then got over. And then I like I was pulling up next to him. He tried to like take off, and I'm like, look at this guy. I think he's gonna take off. People don't realize how fast that fucking truck is, man. No. They really don't. If you step on the gas, you just fucking fly. It's better from a standstill than it is when you're on the highway. They're like over 700 horse, though, aren't they? 702. Yeah. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? 
Do you guys think I could run a half a marathon? No. Right when, now? No. No. In October. Yes. Oh, no. Where? 100%. In, De- in Detroit. Yeah, I'll do it with you. Me. You'll do it with me? Will you? Yeah. No, you won't. And I'll beat you. And winner has to fucking do something real bad. <laughs> Why do you have to fucking? I just want to finish it. You want to fucking race? Yeah. Yeah. You're, I have, have motivation fucking, for you. I'm 60 pounds heavier than you. I got to carry around more shit. Not, but not come October, you won't be. All right, I'll race you. What okay. you've been doing a bit of treadmill running, eh? I literally really? just started because I just got my okay. treadmills. And how long did you run for when you ran? Five minutes? Five minute intervals. Five minute intervals for how many intervals? Four? I think it was four or five. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't bad actually for my first run. I'm like, okay, I think I can do this. How fast did you go? They're real slow though. It was like four miles per hour. Yeah, look, I don't think you could run a fast half marathon, but I think you could finish it 100%. Yeah. Because you have five hours to complete it, I guess. I mean, dude, Nathan ran a full fucking marathon in Nathan? bodybuilding. Shape. Oh, I'm glad you brought up Nathan. So Nathan Who? said that. Nathan. Nathan Dasha ran a full marathon. Nathan really? ran a full marathon like three weeks out before he got his fucking pro card. Yeah. Nathan is not a normal person. He's a no, fucking freak You're of running nature. Half, the, half the distance and you're post bodybuilding. You'll be fine. Trust no, me. No, I want to I touch on this real quick. So Nathan put out a statement because... You know, Nathan likes to go out drinking with his buddies and stuff. And yeah, I think he's getting a lot of flack about going out and hanging out with friends and like not being a serious bodybuilder. So Nathan put out a statement about balance and bodybuilding. And you guys know how I feel about that shit. We've already had our argument. I think I've come to a conclusion. There is no right or wrong answer. It depends on the person. Yes. Because Nathan can get away with far more than a lot of other people. So Nathan can live life. Nathan can go drink on a weekend here and there or go do whatever he wants to do and hang out and not necessarily be as serious and still place top 10 at the Olympia. Whereas whereas somebody else can't do that. So it doesn't, I don't, I think when you're talking about balance, it fucking depends on the person. It does. But I also think it also just goes to beg the question, though, in the in the case of someone like Nathan, it's like, but would he be better if he wasn't? Oh, no, I definitely think that. So that's the other caveat is each person decides where they're happy. Like, for example, I, I went out and I probably lived life a little bit more than I should have, but I probably could have won more shows had I been even more serious than I was. Mm-hmm. So everybody decides what's comfortable for them. If Nathan's comfortable being like, you know, a very good bodybuilder, but not necessarily the greatest Yeah, and, and still having a life, then that's comfortable for him. Whereas somebody like maybe Nick or Ian are like, you know what? I don't care about doing all that other shit. I want to be the best in the world. Yeah. I also agree that like quality of life does matter. And if that's something that brings a lot of quality of life to you, like, you know, like you said, like he can still be a good bodybuilder, but that makes his life say like he could be a 5% better bodybuilder, but his life is 85% more enjoyable. It's yeah. like, that math yeah. makes sense for him, you know? Yeah, I just think oh. I just think the ultimate kind of thing I came to was the argument of whether you should have balance or not doesn't have an answer. No, it doesn't. Everybody can get away with... Some people have better genetics for getting shredded, so they might be able to get away with eating a little bit more food. Some people have better genetics for putting on muscles, so they might be able to miss a little bit of food, I mean, meal here or there. Like, everybody has... Know, a, go ahead, sorry. I don't know, guys, like Dexter and the fucking... Uh, yeah. And Dennis James and these guys back in the day were partying hard, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I do. And then the other thing, I don't want to get any further into it. I just I just came to that one kind of revelation is because I was very I was very fixed on the fact that, and I still kind of am, but only because I see things through my own perception, which is that you can't be the best unless you are obsessed. Yeah. See, that's because of, of your genetics, your career. How yeah, it's my own along. perception. Yes. And it, but it's also the way I look at Dorian Yates. It's also the way I look at like a lot of like when I look at Nick, Nick, you don't, you live a bodybuilding lifestyle. You don't you also out. know too, like, and you know, too, like you kn- know that when you were doing stuff like that, you could feel it affecting you as a bodybuilder. That's right. You know, the like, other thing, so, like someone like Nathan might be like, yeah, oh, the next day I feel perfectly fine. I don't feel any smaller, flatter. I go train, no big deal. Where us, you know, I go out and get drink and the next day I'm like, fuck this shit. I'm done, you know? Yeah. yeah. Well, the other, the other aspect I was thinking of too is you have to decide where are you talking about in the person's career? Yeah. Because when somebody has put on the bulk of the muscle they need, like Nathan has, you can probably take it easy a little bit. Like Ian, you've put on, 
a ton of muscle. You can probably take it easy a little bit. Nick, you could probably take it easy a little bit if you wanted to. Yeah. But when you're coming up, I mean, I don't know about you guys, but I was insane for a few years when I was trying to put on the muscle. You had it felt like you had to be. Like if yeah. I felt like if I missed one meal, I'd lose all my muscle, you know? That's yeah. what I'm saying. And I don't know if that's just in your head or if it's real, but like people are looking at certain guys after they've made it. Let's yeah, look at them. Building the tissue is definitely harder than holding on to it. That's right. That's right. So anyway, I just want to touch on that. Like, I don't think Nathan's wrong, but I think people need to consider their own genetics when deciding how much balance they want to have in their life. Because not because Nathan is a fucking honestly, Nathan is probably one of the freakiest bodybuilders as far as like what his genetics can handle and what they can't. Yeah. Uh, what he can get away with food wise and what he can't, what he can get away with on the weekends and what he can't. I don't really know too many bodybuilders that can do what Nathan does and still look the way he looks. Yeah, I agree. So it's a, uh, it's a little different taking that kind of advice from somebody with those type of genetics. So anyway, I just want to touch on that real quick. Um, Ian, how far are you now? You're into your diet or what? How far are you like full uh, blast now? It'll be 10 weeks this coming weekend. So 10 and a half weeks, I guess. Are you starting Let's to feel go. like what? Vancouver. Okay. Are you starting to feel like you're in a rhythm? Yeah. I feel good now. Like, I mean, you know, it's, it's hard. Like you, it's just a, a situation thing. Like, you know, I know even when I was like back home in Ottawa or traveling, like I was still perfect with my meals and training, but like not being grounded in like one place and like, you know, being uh, moving around, it still just didn't make me feel like I was like proper, you know, it didn't feel right. So yeah, now right. that I'm home and like in my schedule every day, um, it feels good. Yeah, for sure. I'm what getting the, into the swing of things actually faster than I usually do in prep. Like I feel like my appetite's picking up better. Like I feel more energy. My sleep's improving a lot faster. You know, like I, I feel a lot better for 10 weeks out than I generally do. What are you at right now? 295, 290? No, I'm like 285, 282. How are you looking compared to last year? 285. Did you put on some good tissue? Well, I started prep last year at 285. Oh, fuck. Okay. That's good. So, and I started this prep at 302. At 16 weeks out, though, so I started prep over a month ago, so I've come down, you know, 15 do you, pounds, 20 pounds since then. Do you think you improved body parts, or do you think you just got overall bigger? Uh, no, I think my legs have probably improved the most. I mean, for sure, yeah. Um, my quads, ductors, like things like that. I think my back has continued to improve, um, especially like my lat thickness, like in my front lat spread, and my back. You know, like in my back shots, I feel like a lot of years I was doing everything but basically only training upper back like what i thought would develop lats was upper back training you know yeah. and it's only in the last like two three years Why, maybe what? That like huh what were you doing that you thought was developing your lower lats like things like thinking doing wide grip pull downs or is going to like make you have big lats you know which like <laughs> is obviously idiotic you know yeah you know so things like that when i was younger that i would do that is obviously not even yeah. remotely how you're hitting a lat you know yeah, so yeah, yeah yeah you know now that i've started doing like isolating my weak points a lot more you know properly instead of just like doing heavy barbell rows heavy t-bar rows like things that are like but that were just building the spots i was already good at and yeah, not yeah. the lats which is where i was short you know had shortcomings right so yeah 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 um i think that'll be the the two biggest spots you'll see for sure so why not I think overall i'm just starting to get more balanced like i just like when i look at my photos i don't like see any like strong points or weak points it's just like it all kind of fits together a yeah. bit better i think which is just like an you know, time and maturity and learning to train and pinpoint weaknesses a little better, you know? Yeah. Why not uh, Orlando? I mean, it's two weeks before. So, I mean, that'd be eight and a half weeks. Like I could be ready for then. I, look, if it gets to four weeks out and I think I could, I could be ready, I'll do it for sure. Um, but I also don't want to push the pace because I know that will make yeah. me look bad, you know? If you can so do it, that'd I be sweet. At my pace. Pardon? We're all, we're all going to be there. Yeah, I know. I mean, maybe I'll come down, but I would be go flying out the next weekend. So it's like, you know, I wouldn't want you to come down because you're going to be two weeks out anyway. You're going to be like in your own little world. But like, if you did the show, that'd be awesome. Not that, you, not that you're going to do it based on that, but if you could do it, it'd yeah. be sweet. Cause like me. No, I know I'm, you guys all be there. I, I'd love to, I'd love to do it, but yeah. I, I had just, I didn't even realize about that show and the timing until I'd already started prep. Then I'm like, ah, now we're taking two weeks off the prep. Like, is that a time frame I want? Like, it yeah. seems like it's only two weeks, but I mean, you know, on a 16 week prep, that's like actually a significant amount, you know? Yeah. 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 So Perfect. yeah, I mean, things are, I'm, I'm improving at a very good rate right now without having to adjust really anything. Um, you know, like weight has consistently come down the conditioning starting to, you know, get into that good spot. So um, like, I'm, I'm starting to get through that hump of where you just look like smaller and, and flat and like, 
yeah. body fat starting to show now, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's starting to get into that that groove now, you know? Um, Nick, what's going on with you? Training any better? Did you come down any weight this this week or just kind of holding steady for now? I'm sitting at 294. But so just kind of holding, just, holding in place? Yeah, but I feel like I'm just getting harder and leaner, so I'm not you really... You look like it. You look I'm like not it. really complaining too much. Fuck, 294 at five foot three. <laughs> Fucking crazy. Of course, a guy would laugh. The shortest guy. The guy laughed about it. He can relate. <laughs> Have you po- I saw you post a recent photo. I just want to take a look real quick because I know I was talking some shit and you decided to post a leg shot and a back shot. Yeah, motherfucker. So I think we should take a look at it. This picture here. That's well, no, there's another one. But... I know, but this is a good 294, man, or 293, 294. Holy 295, yeah. This is fucking crazy, man. Legs have, legs have come up for sure. Yeah, especially the outer sweep, which is what I've been trying to hit the majority of my offseason. So. Is this just all SEO, or did you actually train hard? It's sideways hacks, bro. What are you fucking saying? Oh, that's right. The sideways Sorry. hack, I bro. forgot the sideways hacks. That's right. I try to tell these people it works. Apparently. Where is the other one with the, oh, this one here. This one, yeah. Look at this shit. Are you going to win the Olympia? Arm. Arms are just uh, ridiculous, eh? Are you going to win the Olympia? Yeah, bro. I'm more, I'm more excited for this weekend than guest pose next to Rami. Wait, you got to look Wait. at me next, not potty. Come on. One second. I just want to There's look a fucking at... pecking order here. Just one second. This look didn't at... impress me that much, though. It didn't? What? I mean, his, his legs are his legs, but like the rest isn't that crazy looking to me. I, I don't know. I, think I, I totally think disagree, wild, dude. Bro. Really? Yeah. yeah, that looks crazy to me, at least. I really want to see him stand next to Nick. Like, look, I love Hottie, and I'm a, I, I think Hottie should place higher in a lot of ways, but this didn't like – I didn't look at this, and I was more impressed by Nick than I was by this. Ian, you can't help yourself, dude. You're going to get killed now by all, all the Arabs. It's fucking all, Hottie. All the, per, all the Persians. Yeah. I'm just I kidding, love, guys. I, record, I, love, I love Hottie. I can't Relax. wait. I can't wait to see what happens when this podcast comes out. Brazil, oh Middle Eastern, you're oh, just ruining your fucking <laughs> – here. Just dub Your something, dub something funny. We'll just cut that away. There. That's my most recent progress picture right there. <laughs> Ian over dieted a little bit. <laughs> I told you I was trying to push the pace for Orlando. How old are you here? I look good, right? <laughs> no, no, seriously. How old are you here? 20. That's a good 20, man. Yeah. That's a good 20. No, on my story, though, you'll see it. There's a back double video. You got better arms at 20 than I did at fucking Why do you 35. have to do this? Why? Patrick did that, not me. No, but why do you have to put your underwear in your ass? Well, because I got to show my glutes. How else are you going to see them? But posing I don't trunks I don't that know. aren't in your butt? <laughs> well, I'm not putting posing trunks on to send my tr- videos every day. That's stupid. Yeah, but did your ass have to literally eat your fucking box? Yeah, like, no, I, I show, like the bottom so he can see all the glute conditioning and how it's improving. All right, did he have to see the fucking color of your asshole? Well, no, because my glutes aren't fat and soggy like yours. There's not a big space in between there. First of all, I don't know who fat and soggy glutes you've ever seen on stage. Not mine, buddy. See, look at those. Fat. That's tight, tight like a tiger in the middle there. You ain't seeing nothing. Fat and soggy, <laughs> fat and soggy glutes. <laughs> well, that's fucking good condition for fucking ten weeks out, man. That's a crisp looking ass crack too. Thank you. You gotta, you gotta get the detail back in your glutes though. <laughs> you gotta get detail back in your glutes. It's 10 weeks out. Yeah, why would I pre peel glutes at 10 weeks out? What I'm just mean? saying, even when you're peeled, your glutes don't have striations anymore. Yeah, they like, do. Last not, year's photos. Not like when you were younger. Oh, Kenny, okay, okay, well, whoa, whoa, go back for a second. Look, the, the striations aren't deep. Okay, go to my photos. I agree with you, but go anyways. Nick, get ready. This is gonna turn into a two a two person debate for about 10 no, minutes. Just, 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 I just know go I take a shit, go take a shit, go make a meal. We're Look, gonna be at least 10 minutes on the this. The striations are there, they're just not as deep as they were when you're younger. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, I agree. Don't get offended. But that's just as they grew, I I that happened. of course, so yeah. Like, as there, you that one, no, the collage there. One second. Is there a back shot here? No. Where's the collage? Above. This one? Yeah. See, my yeah, boots are still there. I'm not saying they don't. Jesus, you're sensitive. I just said I am they, sensitive. Those are my nice boots. Come on. <laughs> just said. No, I'm just kidding. Yes, I agree with you that when I was younger, I and mean, we we've talked about this. Before. I know we I did. Yeah. Brought it up. Yeah. Well, because I, don't know I why think that is. I, I mean, hell, no, even I, even when I turned pro at 26, look, my glutes at 26 look, were much more more separate. Well, they're not that much deeper here. 
No, you're right. You know what? It's kind of similar. Ian's got a big ass too, though. He does have a huge ass. Honestly, you know what I actually think made my glutes less strided the last few years was doing very heavy deadlifts. I think my glutes and my hamstrings and everything grew a lot. And I think with the growing of the glutes, they just had less detail to them. Well, we've talked about this before and it's probably a bro science theory, but I feel like the bigger you get, the more you start to just condense like you're yeah. blurring those lines because the muscles just getting thicker and thicker and thicker. Uh, and so this year we swapped out heavy deadlifts for uh, cable glute kickbacks. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> now you're going to have really shredded glutes. Yeah. Peeled. Um, guy, how's your training going? Oh, good. What? Why? Oh, no, I'm just, <laughs> but how's your training going? Oh, do you still train? Uh, a little kinda... bit. <laughs> I'm still training just as intense and just as heavy as I've ever been. To be honest, I trains you. harder than I, I did a back workout today. It took me 40 minutes. That's good. Yeah, That's I nice. did, like I did incline fucking pause presses today. Um, I, I I could try to go heavy with everything. Still, let's see what you're doing. What are you eating here? Steak, Steak potato, potato, asparagus. Sounds like a good meal. You're just repping some shit. What's this? What the fuck is this? Cream of rice? Bison and cream of rice. You having a ketchup on that? Yeah, ketchup. I know, but you have enough. Hey, wait, am I the only one? I find when people do meals like this with foods that you don't like eat together, very strange. No, no. Okay, so hold on. My meals didn't come to, to, in time. They came late this afternoon. So I didn't have any food. So I made cream of rice and bison that I had in my free, okay. in my fridge. I've sure. done that before. Because like for me, I would eat that with rice or potatoes, which is something you eat with beef, you know? Some dead stuff. <laughs> Why do you chew your headphones? I always wondered that. It's, so I have a mouthpiece in too, but I got into a really bad car wreck in 2011 and gave myself TMJ in both sides of my jaw. So I wear a mouthpiece, but prior to wearing a mouthpiece to stop my jaw from hurting in the gym, I would bite the headphone cord as like, kind of like um, cushion. Mm. And then when I got the mouthpiece, which I, I wear every day, I wear one to bed, I wear one when I train. It's just a habit. Do you fuck up a lot of headphones doing that? Yeah, I blow, but a lot of like you'll see if I wear something like this. Yeah, like you'll put it uh, in your mouth. Yeah. yeah, it's just a bad, it's just a habit. Yeah, people are like, do you do it? I'm like, I've, I've been doing it for fucking 12 years. I think years. you're doing it because you think it looks cool. No, I, I think I it's really, a I don't, it, I don't even think, even when the, the camera's not on, it's, I, I, I sometimes I, I'll walk around in the gym with it in my mouth and not even like think about it. I think this is an oral fixation, like his tobacco stuff, you know? Uh, yeah. yeah. Need something like people that like chew to toothpicks or chew gum. I have, I, I, keep, I have toothpicks in my mouth a lot too. Yeah. You got to always yeah. have something in your mouth. Yeah. Not like a big fucking fat. <laughs> you happy? Is yes. that what you wanted to hear? <laughs> you happy? Are you good? Are you, are you laughing? You fucking this? child. Are you, are you happy now? You 44 year old fucking kid. I'm so immature. It's ridiculous. What do you say? <laughs> you, you like having things in your mouth, huh, guy? <laughs> Guy likes having stuff in his mouth. That's all. Have you watched this new show called uh, Bullshit on Netflix? Yes, I love this no. show. What the fuck is this? It's, so it's a it's a game show with Howie Mandel where it's Great a trivia show. show, but you you can bullshit your answers, and if you convince the other people that you had the right answer with bullshit, you can still win the money. Oh, oh sign me up! That sounds pretty cool. So like people are getting to a million dollars by only knowing like one of the ten questions. You know, right. we would be good on this. I can't bullshit. Well, maybe yes, you can have the shit you say in here is false. But there's three people. <laughs> so the three con- there's three contestants. There's three contestants on the other side that yeah. are trying to guess whether you're bullshitting or not. So say the question is like, yeah. okay, what year was Fuad born in? And the answer yeah. is 1945, whatever. Yeah. You know, and you try and convince them that it's 1965 because you actually don't know the answer. You have yeah. to try and convince them, be like, oh yes, I remember reading this once. Blah blah blah. You know. All right, all right. I'm gonna check it out tonight. It's yeah, a great it's show. Good. I love good. it. It's entertaining. It's funny. Yeah. It's so it's not on cable. It's on Netflix. It's on Netflix. Netflix. I've been watching. Netflix? I've been watching Ozark because Ozark is back on. There's I could never episodes. get into that. I don't know why. Me neither. I, I couldn't get into Ozark. Such a good show. Slow. It felt so slow to me. It's Ozark. It's a little bit. I, I like it. I feel like I'm detached from everybody. I have. I don't watch anything. What do you I like? Your, yourself? I like breaking. If it's not like blood and guts and killing or like excitingness in the first like 30 seconds, I'm like, nope, you know, turn it off. Yep. Yeah. At night, I sit down and I just watch what my what I have saved on my TV. So, like, what's that? Like, Chicago PD, everybody, everybody loves everybody, Raven. Everybody loves Raven, Chicago Chicago PD, like and, and Walking Dead is literally all I watch. Walking Dead is trash now. 
you're crazy. It's awesome. Why don't you try and watch something new? I just like, because you guys have rattled off Yellowstone, Ozark, Peaky oh, Blinders, yeah. this show. Pick one. Just uh, pick one. Uh, C. The, I'm love- like, you're so fucking, I, I have, I've never even seen Game of Thrones yet. Like, I, I, oh my God. We'll start with C. It's not that good. It's not that good. Game of Thrones is C? that good. What are you talking C? about? Bro, the last season was so shit. Yeah, there's eight seasons. So there's seven yeah. great seasons. It's yeah, still, but like it's the still 92% good. Of what? of what? Of what? What are we talking about? Game of, Game Thrones. of Thrones. It's amazing. Right, if I had to start with one show. Yellowstone. Have- Yellowstone. No. He See? would like Yellowstone the, the most. Pro- this oh, is yeah, the problem. For him, yes. For Yellowstone him, for you. For him, Yellowstone, Yellowstone, yeah. Yeah. You would like Yellowstone. for me. Because you think you're just a Yellowstone kind of gal, you know? Gal? <laughs> <laughs> so now my gender Fucking Ian, I, I missed Ian. I gotta say, I missed Ian. <laughs> I didn't. He used to be on my side until this He's podcast. not on anybody's side. Don't you realize that about Ian? He likes I'm everybody to, to hate him. He made fun I'm of the trying Brazilians. trying to be a little funny tonight, so you have me back on more than once a month. <laughs> he, you know? he made fun of it. Oh, fuck you. <laughs> Stop beefing with me, and I'll have you on more. <laughs> Well, shit, I'm going to be in a lot of trouble after the yeah, hottie comments. You're fucking fucked, man. The Persians are going to love yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you're, 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 what's the, tomorrow this is going to drop? That's Wednesday. Thursday, your account's going to be hacked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's so, so far. Thursday. Andy was, Thursday, Andy was Thursday, racist. Andy, his posts are going to be trying to get people well, to yeah, buy that was from him. And he was racist, racist at the beginning of the podcast. So now he's got the blacks against We're him. He's got the somebody's... Brazilians against him. He's got the fucking Persians against him. Yeah, he's gonna be the guy from I get the the DM. Oh, is it just hey. me? It's me and the Asians just like holding it down together, or what? <laughs> yeah. Is that he's all so I got far. left in my corner so far? Yeah, you haven't ripped on any Asians yet. <laughs> Fuck, <laughs> that's good. That's good though. That's good. I you can. know, it's funny though. It, it's everything you say is not that bad. It just sounds worse for some reason coming from you. Yeah, my delivery is bad. Your Melissa delivery tells me that all the time. Your delivery sucks. We got into a fight a couple days ago about like something that I was like trying to be supportive on, but it was like. She's just like, it's not even what you're saying. It's just how you're saying it, you know? My mom yeah. used to say that all the time to me. Yeah. I have that not problem. what you say, it's how you say it. I have it. very, like, kind of, like, harsh, like, delivery, you know? I yeah. just say things, like, say it, and I don't really, like, you know? My wife says that to me. She's like, you're such a fucking asshole. I'm like, I don't do anything. I just, she's like, it's just the way you look. Yeah. The way you sound. I'm like, <laughs> the way you look. <laughs> I have a re- just a resting, a resting, angry face. My, my bad delivery sometimes, how, like, even if I'm saying, like, a good thing, like, I can say it, like, bad, you know? Like, I was saying about our fight the other day, like how I was like saying nice things, but my well, so I was telling him, don't hit, don't he dare fucking talk shit to you. Oh God, here we go. Here's the ass licker. You're such a, <laughs> you're such a well, browner. Ass, you gotta go, at, what, you're such all, a browner. Licker, you're a browner in high school, weren't you? Ass licky. You were the, you? the teacher's um, pet in high school, weren't you? No, teachers yes, hated you totally I, were. I, didn't, I didn't shut up. Is my delivery bad? Yes. Like, yeah, you're like the delivery. fucking U.S. Postal Service during quarantine. Your delivery sucks. Oh God! Yes, you're you're speak very aggressively, and when people are being vulnerable, you you don't really show any softness or empathy. Yeah, Ian, I'm vulnerable. Yeah, Ian, and you fucking rip on me in the process. When, you, when people are opening up and sharing something that's hard for them to talk about, you see, to, like, she's so right. And create yeah. a space for Remember in Texas when I was like, "Oh man, you want to move to Texas because I'm going to be there." That's really nice of you. And then he made fun of me on the podcast about it like three days later. <laughs> <laughs> but I was I was the oh, one I, 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 I was you. the one being emotional in the first place saying I would move to Texas if you did. Yeah, but then I was sympathizing and then you ripped on me for it. You were not sympathizing, you were rubbing it in to make yourself feel good. Yes. Me? Yeah. yeah. No, oh. I was no, that's not true. Well, no, you were saying like I was, he loves me. Now they're he both attacking me. What the fuck? <laughs> no, I was saying I'm shocked. <laughs> That he felt that way. I wasn't fucking rubbing it in. I was, I was, I was feeling. He was like, "Wow, we're that close." I was, I was honored that he was. He would say that about. And me. then Listen, I, I agree, but I think that's different. Well, I think Ian, when people are actually like, you know, talking about something that might hurt a little bit, he just stays in his like aggressive, loud talking, fast talking. I have to be right mode, and that's like not very nice. Yeah, not with you know? me. Like, yeah, what? Not, not with me. Oh, no. great. Just with her. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's, it's actually, he does have a bit more. Tolerant. I think for people, for, no, for people that don't show it to him very often, there's more like acceptance. Wait, I look, I'm a very understanding, empathetic person, but it's just my delivery. I swear. You are very matter of fact. You're yeah. very, you're very I black. We and all white. are though on here. No, 
I'm definitely great. Oh, you're not? I don't know if you guys would be like that with your wives, though. If your wife is crying, are you going to continue to talk like that? To I her? don't know. Hold on. Hey, babe. Talk what? <laughs> She's hiding back there somewhere. Talk like what? Get out of here. Get over here. If my wife was crying, I would what? Okay, so Fuad, if if Summer is like very upset and it, yeah. it's not, you didn't do anything wrong, she's yeah. just talking about a random situation and she's crying. She's like emotional. Yeah. Are you going to continue to speak matter of fact and no. basically tell her to man up and just like show no emotion? Yeah, stop being a pussy. Uh, not, yeah. at, not at first. There would be a period where I would be as sympathetic and empathetic as possible. And eventually I would be like, look, why are you looking at me like that? Because this is supporting my cause. This is how it got that way. No. Well, it depends how long though, Ian. If you gave her like five minutes and then turned it, that's oh, like tw better. twenty minutes. Listen, <laughs> you better just stop putting your head. <laughs> I was also saying, I literally started by saying these are new emotions for me. I'm not very powerful in communicating how I feel, so I need help. I'm trying to talk to you about how I feel, but I don't really know how to talk about it but I know I need to talk about it because it's affecting me internally. So I want to share this with you so I can have some support. The only defense I can give Ian in this instance is that when I'm dieting, I'm horrible at this type of thing. Oh no, 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 no. I know it's not that. excuse. With that. That's good. Yeah. Dude, that's not true. Yeah. You know, that's not true. Yeah. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> no, Melissa doesn't like me either. Thanks, Ian. <laughs> you should share your learning. Melissa, I'll listen to you. <laughs> I know. I'm going to show you next time and cry. Fuck. I'm going well, to. Melissa, just text me. I'll be, I'll, I'll be your fucking. I'm going to text this, you. This might be, a, this might be good. You guys do that. I'll, I'm happy for you. I hate you. Take it off my, take it off my plate. Look what you did. Now she does. <laughs> I was. Oh, she's mad. Now. I'm serious. <laughs> Love you. No, you don't. <laughs> oh, he loves you more than anything on earth. Yeah, she I knows that. She's know. she's just being no, spicy. I really know. Um, I it was a good fight. It wasn't a bad. Fight. I, in, in all honesty, when Summer's feeling mushy or not mushy or soft or vulnerable, <laughs> whatever whatever word you want to use, I try my hardest to bring her out of it as be, by being as understandable as possible. If it gets to a point where I've tried everything and I can't, I'll be like, I'll, I'll just leave her alone. I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to leave you alone for a little bit. I'll come back later. And I'll, and then I'll try and do something like take her out or I'll just get her out of the house and we'll talk some more about it while like we go for a drive or something. But eventually after a certain amount of time, I will be like, look, let's figure out how we can get past it. And then it gets, it becomes a little bit more matter of fact, but there's a whole period of like empathy first. Of course. That lasts quite a bit, quite a long time. But I won't let her, I won't like, this is going to be a really, really bad example. But when her brother passed away, I didn't let her sit in bed and mourn for too long. It was no, like, after, after a little while, I'm like, look, we got to, we got to get up and get back to life. And, you know, you got to start moving on a little bit. So it's kind of like that. Like, there's a period of like, yes, I'm, with you and then there's a period of like okay i'm gonna help you kind of get through it i don't know if that makes sense yeah it does. I think Melissa? Melissa? yeah i no, i think ian is like that immediately like he's a yeah. fixer and i truly believe he's a fixer because he wants oh you he's better. a fixer first uh, immediately yeah i think it's too soon sometimes to be a fixer sometimes i just want to be heard I think that's what he came back around with yeah. after he, he literally went and trained and came back and was yeah. like, I think I just needed to give you the space to like have your feelings before I started basically yeah. telling you your feelings are wrong. <laughs> I've done that before though. I, I, I get what you're saying, Ian, because I've done that before where you're, you just want to, you want to make, I want to make my wife feel better. So I'm trying to fix and sometimes fixing too early is not a good thing. Yeah. yeah I, see, I, think, I think a lot of guys are like that. Like when there's a yeah. fight, like in a relationship when I've gotten to a fight and I'm like, all right, let's fix it. Let's talk, solve it and be done with it right now. Yeah. Like, but I, don't even, wait, not even, I don't want you to. But not even a fight. I'm saying like, if my wife has a problem outside of our relationship. Yeah. Yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. 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 I'm not talking about a fight. I'm saying if she comes home and has an issue, my yeah. first reaction is to try and make her feel better. But sometimes it's, it's not like that. Sometimes she just wants to be heard and I got to let her just be heard. Be heard. Is she good at like asking for what she needs? You know what I mean? Uh, I don't know. I think after 15 years, I kind of know when to fix yeah, it, when to just let her be unhappy or vulnerable or sad or whatever it is. 
So I don't, yeah. I don't, I don't know if she really asks me for it. I just kind of, I think we have a good understanding of what the other person needs after so long together. Yeah. I'm really hard at like actually being vulnerable. A yeah. lot of times it comes across as like standoffishness. It doesn't yeah. actually come off across as like, I need you. Yeah. So like to, to be fair for Ian, when I'm sitting there, like not really communicating powerfully and how I'm actually feeling, he's kind of just like, well, let's be logical. Yeah. And I yeah. feel like I'm awful at asking for help. I'll, I'll never be able to do it. I shouldn't I say don't, that. I don't think Summer's good at asking for help, but she's good at saying, I'm just having a bad day. Like I'm having an off day or my, I feel a little fucked up today. I just need some time to myself. Like she's good at saying that, but if she's has a specific problem, she's not necessarily good at asking for help with it. So maybe you're yeah. the same that way, but she's not bad at telling me if she's like, you know, there's days where somebody, where you just feel down. So she's not bad at saying, look, it's just, it's just a bad day. I just don't, I just don't feel good today. And then what the hardest thing for me is when someone's feeling depressed is I want to, my immediate reaction is how can I make her happy? Yeah. I, then, I have to fix things, you know? Yeah. She's my wife. I love her. I want her to be happy. What can I do to make her happy? Yeah. And the problem with sometimes is that is being depressed is sometimes you have to just let the person come out go of it. it. Yeah, yeah. They have to go through it and come out of it themselves. And you just have to let them know that you're there to listen. And that being there to listen sometimes is hard because you want to fix at the same time. Yeah. So I don't know if any of that makes sense. Yeah, of course. Yeah. No, I mean to Melissa because she's kind of looking oh. around and <laughs> I'm waiting for her to say something. Just a thinker. Yeah. <laughs> My therapist literally is like, I'll say something to you and you just like look around for like five minutes before you answer. This oh, it looks like your process. It's like your process. No, I'm a, I'm a very yeah. intent listener and I don't yeah. like to say things before I actually like I'm very this is this is like one of my number one like drive insane where we'll have like a argument oh, I like that or anything no but like I'll say something we'll be talking I'll talk some you know say something and yeah. then it just sits there for five minutes in silence it's not five minutes it's usually like 10 yeah. seconds but that yeah but I no it would be 30 seconds to two minutes but I like that because it means she's really processing what you're talking about and you're going to get a meaningful answer back I don't like to say things out of reaction. I really don't. And I think sometimes when you're in a relationship and like you start to feel like these ego feelings come in where you're like, oh, he doesn't care about me, which isn't true. Yeah. So yeah. I need to stop and remember that that's not true. So I'm not responding from that reactionary place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, sometimes it takes longer than others. So when you're saying this to me, part of me is like, oh, well, I do do all of that perfectly. But yeah. that's not true. I don't... I probably don't just tell him I'm just having a bad day. It'll be all right. I probably am like, no, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, you I'm don't fine. even say if you're just having like, you won't, you won't say like, I'm just having no, a bad day. No, I'll usually just say I'm fine. And Ian's yeah. like, I I'm know not what stupid. I'm fine yeah. means. You know you what know it, yeah, you know what it is. Yeah, I know. I know when she's on or Girl off. that says I'm fine means I'm having a horrible day. <laughs> yeah, that's like a meme. That's like literally <laughs> yeah, a meme. Ian, I know, Ian I know. Says that. He's like, I know what a woman's I'm fine means, you know? And then you know I'm like, funny about you, this? All, you all say the same. It's the same terminology across the board for y'all. I know. I, I mean, literally, when I'm in a relationship, really like, don't ever say you're fine. Even if she didn't use the word fine, it's just like you, like you said, Fuad, I've been with her for 11, 10, years. Like, you know, yeah, you, you know, know, yeah, yeah. It's funny. I was just having a conversation with a friend about this and his relationship and he's having some issues. <clears throat> and I was like, if you could just get your girlfriend to be vulnerable and tell you what the root problem of her anger is, you could solve it. I think, and, and this is for, I guess, women out there listening. And, and if you do know this or don't know this, I don't know. But like, for example, if she's jealous of another girl or something like that, she'll lash out at him in a, in a different way. And I'll be like, if you would, and, and I learned this early on in my relationship, if I was jealous, I would be angry instead of just saying, look, that kind of bothered me a little bit. I'm feeling a little insecure. If you do that, the other person can be like, oh, okay. And then they can actually reassure you instead of like having a fucking fight. That's not really about what you're angry about. Mm -hmm. So it's like being vulnerable is actually the key to having a successful relationship. Cause then you're not fighting about shit. That doesn't matter. Does that make sense? Like sometimes when I, I'll just use myself as an example. If I was mad at summer for something like, and I got jealous of her talking to somebody or something like that, I would just be a shitty person. I would be like yeah. upset or angry and I wouldn't actually tell her. And then I learned after a little while to just say, look, that kind of bothered me a little bit, feeling a little insecure, I'll be fine. And then when I do that, it brings her guard down and she can say to me, I love you, this is stupid, don't worry about it. And then I feel better. And we just yep. kind of move and we just kind of move on. Yep. Yeah, I think so, it's impossible to have true closeness in a relationship without that though. 
Yeah, but I'm just saying like this goes to what you were saying about not being able to be vulnerable. And I'm like, but that makes everything so much easier when you can just say, I'm feeling X, Y, Z or, yeah. You know, I feel like I normally you. can, but I have a whole bunch of new feelings. Yeah, this is a different situation, but in, in most things, you're actually pretty good. Like, you know, if you were feeling jealous or insecure about something or upset about something, you would usually say it. Yeah. What's yeah, new? Are you, are you pregnant? <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I'm actually so tired of him pretending like I'm the one that's stopping this family growth. That's she she is an IUD and she's the one stopping it, not uh -oh. me. We cause like a domestic guy. I do my end of the business. It's her end stopping it, you know? Oh, I'm going to go get my Arimidex for this conversation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got a little deep there. Sorry, guys. No, that was good. That was fun. No, but not for Guy or Nick. Guy and Nick oh. are like, what the fuck are we talking about? This is like... No, I enjoy it because... It's supposed to be a bodybuilding future. podcast. Well, this for is my, stuff that Guy can go... This is stuff yeah, Guy can go... future girlfriend, girlfriend, I can use this. For yeah. your current girlfriend, you can use this on her so you don't lose her like the rest. Yeah. I don't lose them. I kick them to the curb. I don't know about all that. Why? How many have you kicked to the curb and how many have just left? Well, who curb? had texts with all of them? So he actually knows. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> He does, Ian. What are you talking about? He does. I he's know. a fucking. He's like a weird creep. What did I do? <laughs> he like he creeps on like weird things in my life to fucking get me on the podcast. <laughs> I'm gonna get him. See, I'm gonna get him. It's because I'm married for fucking so long. I need some, you know, I need some interesting to. Talk I've about. been. I I got broken up with twice. It happens to everybody, guy. You don't have to be like offended about it. No, no, no. I'm saying I'm usually the one that is just like. Eh. I mean, the one, generally, the one generally men are not the one to break up relationships, even if they want to be, you know, I'm, I'm, I don't know if that's no, true. no, 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 it is, it is. Statistically I, men stay in relationships way longer than they want to. And women generally are the terminators. I agree. Yeah. And this is why right. I'm, I'm yes. horrible. Yeah. No, wait horrible. a minute. I disagree with this. Cause hold on. I'm going to, I'm going to tell you why I agree. Are you counting, are you counting guys cheating and getting, and then the girl dumping them? Because I thought you said guy sad. cheating. I was like, that's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about if a guy's at, like, when it comes to any relationships, guys will generally stay in unhappy relationships much longer than women will. Yes. I disagree. I agree. Well, it's not a disagree. This is a statistic. Google it. I'm, I'm going to Google I it. I agree with, I agree yeah. with Ian right here. Do men stay in Abusive. Yeah, you want to know why? Well, look, when I'm in a really, when I'm in, <laughs> yeah, when I'm relationships in, longer than women. Yeah, when I'm in a relationship and I'm unhappy and I want it to be over, I act like an asshole so they break up with me because I'm horrible exactly. at breaking up with them. Yes. And, and then they won't, and then yes. they don't break up with you. And you turn into a bigger asshole. And they and don't then, break up. Yes. And it's more likely. I, am, I am, One second. It is second. well established that women end more marriages than men. Thank you. The end. Bye. Close it. Marriages, marriages, not relationships. <laughs> Same thing. The uh, pattern is reflected in termination of dating relationships. Yeah, you're right. I didn't know that. Yeah. Ooh, we Guys are horrible at ending relationships. Horrible. That's so crazy. I totally thought it was the opposite. You, no, yeah. Are you good are you with ending relationships? relationships? Me? Yeah. Yes. You're good. Yeah, but you're, look. To, to, in every statistic there is ends like you're not you're just clearly not the norm and that's no, no, i understand i understand that and then i know it's not like 100 percent. i get it i'm just saying yeah. i don't know i never had a problem like if i was unhappy i would just be like i'm fucking leaving sometimes yeah. it took sometimes it took a little longer but i would always just end up doing it eventually i wouldn't and, that, and that's good i don't and like that's what all people should do i don't like the treat them like dog shit until they leave i can't do that i don't treat them like dogs i'm just like maybe if i just like it'll be more passive yeah, I give them more space, become more passive, don't pay attention. Become very maybe distant. Maybe they'll, yeah, maybe maybe they'll get the idea. You've been so distant, Nick. you've been busy. Instead of saying, like, good morning, beautiful, you hit them with. Hey. Hi. No, 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 you got to keep, keep the morning. Or, or I love you, good night, you too. You too. So <laughs> when you're. Oh, if you hit them with the you too, gone. Or what about when they go, I love you, and you go, love you. Oh, do you know I you say love you? you. Okay. Don't say I love you, you back. Thanks. I, would get to say, I love you. Wait a minute. I've said you too, and I've said love you. Doesn't mean I hate my wife. You're married. You're married. You're married. You're married. You're married. You're married. Oh, oh so you're saying like an, to us. the rules don't apply to us. So you're saying in a, just in a normal relationship. Yeah. Yeah. So in, you can't say you can't say you can't say love you. You have to say I love you. Yes. If a girl says I love you, and you reply with love you. We're gonna no, be like, like, yo, Fu, I took to Melissa. If she said I love you, I would have no problem saying you too. You know. 
No, no, I'm saying for Nick and Guy because they're like in fresh relationships. Trust me when I tell you, they be like, uh, yeah, you always got to say I love you too. Yeah, really? Yeah. yeah, this is so interesting to me. Yeah, Don't and you can't say wrong, you can't say you too. Like she said, no. I love you, and you say me too. That's wrong. It it sounds like you're avoiding saying I love you. It's like what you don't want to say it. Back. It's like the lazy man. It's like the lazy man's version of "I love you." It's not even lazy man. It's the avoidant man. I think I've done that in the beginning of my relationship. It didn't fucking end anything. Oh, well, I mean, that's well, not well, going to be. I think if you, I think if you have an understanding woman, it's not that big a deal. <laughs> okay. I think uh, the girl would have to be pretty sensitive to be like, <laughs> if you said "I love you," wait, wait, if, she, wait, said, if think... she said "I love you" and you said "me too." I think you're probably pretty sensitive here, though, to be upset about that. Oh, wait, Fu, context matters. It, de- it depends where the relationship is at. Because, like, if it's a relationship that is obviously going kind of sour, down yeah. Brain, yeah, yeah, kind of yeah. going sour, and you start <laughs> saying, you were saying, I love yeah. you, and now you're just saying, you too. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, there's yeah. a change that, that a girl is going to pick up on, you know? I agree. I agree. If you've you know been saying, if you've been saying, that's you what me and Guy are talking about. Yeah. If you've been saying, you too, or me too, we're, from we're, the beginning, we're changing the script now. Yeah. Yeah. I get it. Yeah. Or if like you were saying, I, like Nick said, good morning, beautiful, and then you're just saying morning, you know? So, Guy, with your current girlfriend, when she says, I love you, do you say me too? Or do you say, what do you say? Well, nobody texts me every morning, so. But if I did have a girlfriend. Um, <laughs> One day you're going to admit it, and I'm going to be so happy. Wait, hold on. This is what I do, though, just for girls watching. Nick, 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 is, Nick is probably does this, too. The first thing I do in a relationship that is not going good and I, like, want it to end, my text responses go from super fast to very long. <laughs> so like normally it's like, hey, what's going on? It's like, hey, babe, what's going on? Nothing. What do you mean? Blah, blah. And then like, it'll be like, hey, babe, what are you doing? I'll be like, <laughs> <laughs> just wait an hour. <laughs> like, I'll respond later. <laughs> Nick, true or false? Dead on. That's the first thing that goes is the text response. Ladies, if your man is not texting you back right away, especially this is, this he normally is- does. <laughs> He's either done with you or he's another vagina. Okay, but wait a minute. Nick's getting himself in trouble right now because if he... No, because think about it. If for some reason you didn't respond because you were actually busy, now your girlfriend's going to watch this and think you're purposely not responding. We're never busy, Fuad. (laughs) No, if you're with a girl and you're busy, she'll know when you're busy. But like, let's be serious. We all have our phones on us all the time. We can answer whenever. It's not a big deal, you know? That's not true. even I don't know, I, my my phone's with me all the time and I'll see a message. I always I can't always answer. Yeah, by the way, I called you twice the other day, you fucking piece of shit. That's but a perfect like, example. You're running businesses and shit. Me and, and I me called and you back your body you fucking cock sucker. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but I I there's a reason oh, I couldn't. Oh, you couldn't answer, but no, I, have to. I there's a reason, asshole. And there's also a reason why I didn't answer, asshole. Twice? Twice? Hold yes, twice? I called you twice. You I called you twice. Hold on. No, look. What are you guys bickering about here? I'll tell Hold you on. after the podcast. No. Hold on. All four of you. Nick's Guy obviously. called me. I called you too, twice. And I called you back. You didn't answer me. See, there was that's a reason what to me. you guys called back significantly fucking later, look, and I couldn't pick up. I called you look, back look. 10 minutes later, you dickhead. Wait. Is that, if that's my number, I'm going to kill you. Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. Does that Wait, say I Guy Sister you Nino? back like 10 minutes later. This is bullshit. Does that say Guy Sister Nino? Okay. Or my number? There's two numbers there, the guy and then guy again. Yeah. I called you twice, you shit. Oh, wait, you called me back? I did, yeah. I didn't see that one. Yeah, asshole. So I called That's you okay. twice back, okay. and you didn't answer either time. I couldn't. Well, hey, guy, I would like you to know if you call me, I'll answer you, okay? No, you know, that's not true because I've actually called you two before. Guy, you and you go, guy, guy. And it'll be like this. Hey, I'll call Ann and it'll be like, hey, is everything all right? He'll text me. Oh, I don't know who that, Ann, that's, I don't that's know who Ann is. Demo. That's but why I don't call I, Ann. I used to call Ann and my response to the me calling him was a text back. So I'm like, fuck. At least man. I replied to you. These guys aren't even replying to you. True. I'm going to start calling guy, you. Guy, just call Melissa from now on. She'll answer. Yeah. No, she definitely won't. <laughs> guy, <laughs> Melissa guy, doesn't even know where her phone is 80% is of the day, you know? <laughs> What'd you say, Nick? I said, guy had a funny story for me. I, I want to. Okay, tell us what I, you called about. I, yeah, yeah, that's not going to ever happen. Why? I uh, after the podcast. Was it about your girlfriend? I first of all, I, what girlfriend? And I can't say it on the podcast because of feeling. It has this girlfriend. Of other people. Okay, we'll wait. Oh fuck! Okay, podcast is over. I want to know. <laughs> no, it's not. We still got thirty minutes left. Okay, let's go. We'll answer some questions. 
Unless you really want to chop it. Do you really want to chop it? I'll tell no, you. No, no, no. Let's just answer some questions. We'll talk after. I kind of want to know now. No. <laughs> the anticipation will make it more worth it. Yeah, know? it'll make it or it'll it's make actually it really, gonna, it's actually or it'll make if, it horrible. If if Nick and Fuad don't laugh and you weren't on the podcast, so if you didn't watch it, you might not get it. Oh, but if if Fuad and Nick don't fucking laugh hysterically, I would be blown the fuck away. Blown away. I'm sure I'll laugh. Um, what are, we, what are you doing? Are you popping a question? How can I send this to myself so I can show you guys? Email it to yourself. Yeah, I know my phone's not functioning properly at the moment. Let's see here. And when's it Toronto? I'm not doing Toronto, but Toronto's first week of June. I thought you said you're doing Toronto. Vancouver, bro. Vancouver, sorry. When's that? You don't pay Middle attention. of July. Maybe I'll fucking... What's the requirements to get in over there? Uh, you have to be taller than 5'5". Five, five. Pr- I'm 5'5 five, five and a half, so suck a bag of dicks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Fuad might know better than me. I'm not sure what the requirements are. My license are. is 5'6", too. You, it's have to vast, you have to be vast. You have to be vast. You have to be vast. I'm kind of... Vast. Kind of, kind of vast. <laughs> Yeah, fake it till you make it. You know, you'll you'll be good. Come on. <laughs> I said, come. Yeah. Ben's, Ben's a good show. So, I guess Pose had a Vancouver show a couple of years back with Nathan and Flex. I saw I, this story. I, I did the Vancouver Pro with Nathan. Did you guys? No, no, I, I guess Pose there was there, there was a show in Vancouver. Oh, with Corey Nathan and Flex, Corey, guess Pose. It was a Corey show. Corey, did what you the fuck is this, this fucking story or not? An attempt theft in a gay's house, and then. Two professional thieves in the U.S. broke into a Florida man's house to rob him. Unfortunately, they picked the wrong house as the owner was a giant gay rapist. The notorious (laughs) notorious gay sex predator tied the two men, aged 54 and 36, and raped them for five days. A neighbor heard the men's cries and called the police. The The consequences, not the thieves physically, the consequences... Something I can't see, but that says behind this thing. Oh, the thieves, the thieves phys- physically and emotionally. Cost the thieves yeah. physically and emotionally. Do you guys believe this shit? Is these that real? Two, these two guys broke into this guy's house and he raped them for five days straight. You, you know what? Them. This sounds horrible, but they got what they deserved. Yeah, is I- he going to get in trouble? <laughs> <laughs> you can't <laughs> fuck somebody. Well, you can't fuck somebody. If people are in jail because they're... <laughs> Like you're gonna get in trouble. You're in jail. <laughs> well, I mean, look, if someone like crime, you can't rape someone people. Breaks your house, can't you shoot them? Like you can kill no. people down here for breaking your house. Yeah, he was wait, probably better different. off. No, wait a minute. There's self defense. He raped them for five days straight. Yeah, he could. If he would have just shot them <laughs> when they were like grabbing the. Yeah, would he have been better to just kill them? Yeah, no, but he, he wanted to he get his nut them. off for five he days. Pun- he punished them. Punished their fucking and he enjoyed for five days. Is it, is it, is it self-defense if he did it once and let them go? I don't know. I mean, okay, wait. Here's a question: Would you rather get fucking <laughs> tied up and raped for five days or shot? Shot. He's dead. Shot, shot. for That's sure. Shot. I'd rather get shot. Can you imagine being tied you up? You about the body that got shot by his neighbor lately? No. Oh, Shane. That was just here. Shane. Yeah. Wait, I gotta go the piss. Park, you guys talk about parking spot. Yeah, over a fucking. He was parked in his like neighbor's parking spot, just to unload some shit in his like driveway condo, you know. And his neighbor came out and like argued, and then fucking shot him over it. That's crazy. And he he yeah. survived, right? With his wife and his kid there too. He survived, correct? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did he get? Where did he get shot in the head? No, in the in the in the abdomen, you know. Bro, that's fucking like what kind of human? Like, and they'll be like, that's why there shouldn't be guns. No, that person's crazy. Yes, I saw that. Like that's that's that has nothing to do with the gun. That person shouldn't be able to fucking legally have a gun. Yeah, you should. You could make the argument for obviously better background checks, and that and that person shouldn't have a gun in the first place. But I mean, that's just it's what, what do you? Nobody knows. Nobody I'm gonna park in your fucking parking spot. Yeah, like if there's no immediate threat, like if you're we're just verbally like talking, I'm like, bro, move your fucking car. Like you don't just get to shoot somebody and think it's okay. Like, like, like look, you're you an idiot. If you and your neighbor have beef over this and you want to go fucking, you know, go throw some fisticuffs, okay, that's still stupid, but go for it. We don't fucking shoot. But like, guy. listen, like, like if 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 the if the one guy pulled a knife and the other guy had a gun, then I'd be like, got you, sure. all, all you, bro. Sure. You, he got what he deserved. But like, yeah, if you're just having a verbal altercation and one person decides I'm gonna I'm gonna shoot before the other guy because I think he might. Well, and there was barely even like an escalation to yeah, that point. It was like they were you just pulled out. Yeah, that guy should go to jail and fucking he should get raped. 
well, did you hear that he got out on bail like right away and then buddy was still in the hospital and his neighbor was back living next to his family? No. Yeah. He got out on bond. He got out on bond like within a couple days. That's in Texas, right? Uh, I, I'm not sure. I thought it was in yes, Florida. Yes, I think he trains be. at Destination Dallas. Yeah. I mean, either way, it's insane. What did I miss? Yeah, so I really don't think we have to have Fuad as the host of this anymore. Oh. <laughs> You'd be lost without me, guys. Shut the fuck up. We would. We'd be um, $6,000 richer. Next. <laughs> anyway, what did we decide? What? what? Would we be shot or be raped? Shot. Oh, oh. Dead. Well, where are we getting shot? Like, I don't dead, want to get killed. Dead. 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 Well, you're dying. You're only gay if you're gay, Ian. It's okay. I'll take the I'll take the raping over death. Five days. Five days? days? Five days. Can you imagine how horrible that'd be. And is he going to feed you or just going to starve while he's banging? And he's going to use lube. Lube. wait. And he's going to use lube. Can you imagine? Oh, yeah. Yeah. but then you're dead. Wait, but does, then you're he, dead. He so it's like, use lube? yeah. But hold on, you're probably going to wish the rest of your life that you were dead. Yeah, how are you going to overcome that? <sighs> like, what's you're your, definitely going to need surgery. What's your quality of life going to be like? I mean, after look, that? if I can't live through it, then I'll just kill myself after. And it's like, at least I got to try, you know. <laughs> I mean, E for effort, if you want, I'll give you the At least e. the choice was mine, you know? Get <laughs> the E. Oh, Summer just told me about, and this is a little, obviously a little bit more serious, but Summer just told me that they made that legal in Canada. What? That's not Should just. Be. I feel like, oh, it was raping. in the last, it was like a year or two ago. Rape, raping people? Oh, did they? No, no it's just it's like that people. you can, like, so that you're allowed to medically kill yourself, yeah. right? Yeah. It's oh. called, I think, is it called unalive or something like that? I literally thought you were talking about rape being okay. I didn't think it was that recent, but maybe it was. Maybe they added to it. I don't know. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Oh, Canada, the, your new law will provide, not prevent suicide for some psychiatric patients. Yes, this Current, is 2021. Yeah. Current. Oh, this is old. Okay. Sorry. But yeah, I think it's, I think it's about a year ago, you know. Well, did they add something to it? Because Summer just told me about it yesterday. Is assisted dying? Is that what it's called? Legal in Canada? Canada is the latest nation to legalize voluntary death by for psychiatric conditions in 2016. Canada passed Bill C-14, a law permitting medical and euthanasia and physician-assisted suicide, together known as medical aid in dying. Yeah. That seems like it's the opposite of what it should be, though. Why are you helping people that have psychiatric conditions die? Wouldn't it? Wouldn't well, you some be? People just never. I, there was a guy from Ottawa that was a big proponent for this. You know, he had me mental illness of some kind and was very suicidal, and you know, was trying to petition for this law, and then eventually ended up taking his own life. He went to the gym that I trained at. This kid named Adam. I remember. Okay, it very but well. but okay, I know this is like a darker topic. We won't have to stay on it long. But I'm just curious if this was something that you were gonna. I know guy, but it's, I, I'm actually curious about it. I know if this is something, that, if this is something, if you were the president, right. Or the prime minister of Canada and you could just make a law like that, wouldn't you make it so that it was legal for people that didn't have psychiatric conditions? Cause wouldn't you want somebody to be in a sober mind or a right frame of mind to make that well, type of decision? Not, I think you're, uh, you're conflating like what, what they're meaning by mental can like, it's not people that are there aren't in their right mind, like that are people oh, okay. that are like schizophrenic okay. per se. I think you're yeah, talking yeah. about people that are, you know, in, in mass amounts of depression and things like this that they've tried to treat and they can't, and their quality of life is so low that they just can't get through it or they feel they so can't. So does so? I don't, I don't think you're talking about people that have, you know, that are not mentally there Sound. to make yeah. decisions. Yeah. 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 See, well, so, I, I, that's how I took it. Fooling. That's how I. No, it's not. It it's not all mental conditions. Uh -huh. They can just kill themselves. Yeah. It's it's okay. But let me ask you under this. the psychiatric the guidance of a, a psychiatrist. So let me ask you this, and I don't know if you know the answer, but even ask in the what? case, even in case of depression, wouldn't I, I just think in this type of scenario with something this serious, I I feel like it should only be allowed for. Well, I mean, I guess it's everybody's personal choice. What are you going to say? Like, like people dying of cancer or like... I was going to say term terminal, terminally ill. I was going to say terminally ill mm. or at least in a normal frame of mind. Yeah, because but if you're anyone wanting Anyone wanting to commit suicide is technically not really in a normal frame of mind, dude. That's true too, yeah. Yeah, you know? you're right. Yeah. Like, I, I understand for the assisted suicide in terms of people with illness, that's a very different thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. No. I just, I wonder though, you know, because sometimes... We talk about depression being chemical or situational. 
I mean, there's like, both, and one can make one at worse and whatever. Sure. And and they can be both together. But I wonder to myself. I think the difference is like <clears throat> people that get depressed that <clears throat> aren't like that aren't truly depressed. Those are the ones that like. You know, I think we've all, it's safe to say we've all had like those thoughts like, man, I just want to fucking drive my train to a fucking telephone pole because like something's wrong. But then there's a part of you that knows if that happens and you die, like there's no coming back from that. And then there's the people that go there and just can't ever come back. No, no, no. But I'm not talking about making, <clears throat> I'm not talking about making final decisions. I'm talking about just depression overall. So some people are clinically depressed. They have some type of chemi chemical imbalance. They need some type of medication or constant therapy to help them some people are situationally depressed that that's what family, i just said yeah that a family member die that whatever but i don't mean as far as suicide i just mean like you could be situationally depressed for quite a period of time and you might want to commit suicide and it might seem this is okay. why it's, this is why these things specifically said under the guidance of a so you have to go therapist. through some testing and whatever first your, your you therapist know. is going to know if this is yeah, situational yeah. depression or clinical depression okay okay, okay, know okay. That, you know okay i just i don't know anything about the law that's why i'm asking i don't yeah. know I, those, I don't know either but i i can deduce that i think yeah, yeah, for, yeah. for those wondering why i laughed because i was the only one that saw nick bounce his boobs for no reason <laughs> <laughs> nick's got to keep it light man he's got to keep it light that's why <laughs> that's why we have him here anyway i just right. this yesterday, so i was asking about it it's a very dark topic sorry guys i just you know these things are important to discuss sometimes can't can't be talking about shit and sex all the time Damn, most man. of the time but not all the time most of the time nick we talk, we talk about domestics we talk about death we talk about suicide we talked about depression that's the great thing about this podcast it just goes anywhere everywhere yeah uh okay we should do some questions since we have 20 minutes left we have a time limit now you got a fucking problem well ian usually gets bored after two hours what i never get bored <laughs> i'm just joking i, knew he was I got fired up again i know seconds <laughs> that's why he said me though because he knew i'm the most sensitive i knew he would snap <laughs> right back in seconds he knew i'd get mad yeah <laughs> <laughs> okay uh does the coach make the athlete and should coaches get credit for athlete success yes and no yeah i agree with nick yes and no yeah it's a bit of i think it's like just no different than a coach coaching a football team i think look i don't think a coach doesn't... makes an athlete but i think a coach should get credit for helping the athlete. yeah look because if someone doesn't have it a coach isn't going to get like if you just mentally don't have the tenacity and the drive to do the work that needs to be done the or coach physic do or you. physically don't have the genetics yeah. Sure, but yeah, also that. But like, saying, Tom you know, Brady so. probably didn't need a fucking throwing coach, but I'm sure it helped a little bit. Sure. Yes. Yeah. So the coach doesn't make the athlete, but the coach should get credit for athlete Absolutely. success for guiding the athlete in the right. Hey, yo, yeah, I mean, not. I mean, I mean, not a hundred percent. You don't like. Oh, fucking Ian won the Olympia, or Nick won the Olympia. Here's hundred percent credit to Patrick or Dom. No, no but also like, but like, they do get I some credit. Football, yeah. you know, like. The, when Bill Belichick wins a hundred freaking Super Bowls with the Patriots, we obviously are like, "Hey, this guy's coaching a good fucking team." You know? That's right. Yeah, that's right. So they do get some credit. Yes. Yeah. Um, you can take one. You can take one piece of Temple Gym for your gym. What would you take? What? I don't know. What? What's Nothing. in there? Tell us the inventory. I don't well, know. like um, the Nautilus machine? gym. Yeah, like a, the Nautilus. I think, I think that pullover machine. The hack squat's pretty good. I, honestly, I don't even love those pullovers that much, so I'd probably take something else. You don't? I have one in my gym. It's awesome. They're too narrow, man. Well, I'm small now. That's true. I don't have that problem. Yeah. They're just like banging <laughs> your lats. Even, even the hammer strength one that we have at Revive, you know, it's like yeah. your lats just hit. It's like it feels too tight. The hammer man. strength one sucks. You got to try mine. Yeah. I think you'd like it. I've yeah. used that at West mm -hmm. Coast. West Coast Iron has one. The old one? They have the chain with the chains and real one. Yeah. yeah. And you don't like it? I like it a lot better than the... Yeah. Hammer strength one, but I don't strength one. I can't stand. Would I ever pick it over a like a cable rope or like long handle pullover? Probably not. Yeah, I would Ugh. take it over a standing cable. You know what I found? I really like when it comes to pullovers, cross bench with a dumbbell, but with a band attached to the dumbbell. Oh yeah, it's great. That's John had me do those for a while. John taught me that one too. Yeah, they're John, good. I, loved, loved I got those from John too. I did those yeah. for a long time. Yeah. Um. Would you rather have Flex Wheeler or Dorian Yates' body and career? Dorian Yates. Dorian Yates. Yates. Dorian Yates. No Olympia wins to six Olympia wins for sure. Yeah. Uh, get cucked by someone on the podcast or never train again. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> who? Get cucked by someone on the podcast. Well, so somebody, some, watch, somebody else bangs your chick while you watch. He's got a sneaky look over here. Who, who do you want to bang you then if someone's banging you off the podcast? <laughs> no, I'm not banging you. Isn't it bang your chick? Yeah. I'm talking to Melissa. Yeah. Oh. Ian, Ian would be cucked. Yeah. I'm talking to Melissa and asking her she, who she wants to bang her. She's going to say guy. <laughs> she is going to say guy. Why do I get thrown into this like a fucking ass? She likes you the most. She's going to say least, guy. You're the least threatening. The least threatening? Yeah. So, so I'm the ugliest now. No, that doesn't mean ugly guy. You're very good looking. Now and now you're just being a liar. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Other than guy, you got to pick one then. <laughs> oh. You have um, to pick. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll take the cuck over that, I guess. You'll get I think, I think all of us would go insane if we never trained again. I'm retired now. I'm not going to train again. No one's cucking yeah. me. It's fucking my wife. I'm oh, we can't, you still we train. Can't train again. I would stop training. I'll just run. Yeah, but that's, that's training. Running's training. No, I think they mean with weights. No, all training. Fine, I'll just ride my motorcycle. Oh. I don't care. <laughs> fuck you guys. No one's fucking my wife. <laughs> Nick. Oh, yeah, fuck. No, I, I'm, too, I'm, too, I'm, too, I'm, in the, I'm in the prime of my career right now. Melissa can take one for the team here. Who are you going oh, yes. to let bang her? <laughs> Nick, what are you doing? Guy. Ian, if you had to pick someone, Guy? Oh, or James. No way. No, because James admittedly says he's like a trash lay. So it's like, yeah, go for it. You know, he no, says he's like two minutes and done. Yeah, I don't Just care. James, James can go and do his two minute thing. And we'll I don't want that day. big sloppy, hairy body on my fucking. That's disgusting. Yeah, but that's like, that's me. Thing. It's just me, you know? Yeah. Like, it's just another one of me. Like, go for it. You know? Go yeah, that's pretty much, yeah, you and James are pretty similar. Like, <laughs> yeah, goes, yeah, go for it. We're just like big, big, white, hairy British dudes. You know? What about you, Nick? Oh, she's getting dick. Yeah. From who? Guy? Um, I I got Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Good choice. <laughs> I'm picking Paul. <laughs> did, What'd she say? She said she thinks Paul would make sweet love to the girl. Is no. that true? Can you no, confirm? Paul's disgusting. He would not make Paul's sweet disgusting. love. <laughs> Paul's gonna get uh, so many girls in his DMs. Paul's eating her ass. Yeah. Oh my god. Uh, what? Oh god, no. We're not doing that. Oh my god. Uh, puke every time you sneeze or shit every time you yawn. Oh my god, I yawn. What? So much. Say it again. Puke every time you sneeze or shit every time you yawn. Puke every time. I every I... time I yawn because you can feel a yawn and you can run to the bathroom. A yawn you can feel coming. A sneeze hits you. You know, you know often you'd be shitting. Yeah, I'm a I chronic yawn yawner. I yawn like a hundred friggin' times an hour, so I'd yeah. definitely be. I'm and I, I don't sneeze that often. No, because like, yawn I usually do one. Sneeze I'll do three to five in a row. No, I would so just. I fucking did. <laughs> I would just hammer like allergy meds all the time, so I would like try and keep the sneezing to a minimum. You know. I'm taking the sneeze too. I sneeze yeah. like once a day max. Yeah, once or twice no. a day at most. I can do nope. a stink. I'm just, like a know. good ten sneezer a day, easy. Oh, Nick. No. Nick, you look like a yawner. Nick, is that your second meal during this podcast? Yeah, bro. <laughs> what? <the fuck? laughs> I'm gonna yawn. You're gonna shit every time you yawn. Yeah, I don't. Nick, yawn that much. Nick you don't look like a fast moving. Do you human. have fucking? Uh, do you have chops? What do you mean? Are you are you rocking chops right now? Oh no. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, the right oh, side. Though. The, the, right side the right side is. Look. See that? It stops right there. Yeah, pulls the e brake. You should do chops. I was thinking about it. Those look good on you. Yo, I feel like there's been a lot of people who've lost bets and haven't like owned up to the losses lately. Everybody I has, except that. for Guy. Or not guy, I did my bet. Uh, Paul. I didn't lose shit. Paul. I had to shave my head. I did my bet. Yeah. Doesn't Paul, follow a piercing or Paul something? Paul owes like two nipples. Pierce, two piercings. Yeah. That's it. Everybody else has paid up. Yeah. Yeah. Who hasn't paid up? I don't know. I just said I. I think Ben lost one where he had to shave his beard and then it got lost in the cracks. Oh, we have the indie. Isn't the indie show this weekend or is it next weekend? Pittsburgh this weekend. What happened at the fucking? Somebody tell me what happened at the Arnold Brazil. Oh, with the guy getting composed. I didn't watch the video, but no, I no, saw, just the fact that no, he, nobody he was, was there. It was like, there was what happened to the guy that got disqualified? Apparently, it was like ten he years. missed prejudging. Yeah, oh, Ian, oh, is that I mean, what it like, was? As far as big names, like oh. Raphael was the only big name in, in Arnold who, Brazil. Who else is left to qualify? Who else are you expecting to see? Well, what do you mean? All the guys that didn't qualify at the Arnold Ohio. There was what? no one in it. 
No, man, everyone's qualified. The only guy is not qualified. Like, so, I mean, think of out of the top five, all qualified. Then other than that, then there's me, which I'm not qualified, but you know what I'm doing. Yeah. And then after that, Justin Rodriguez is already qualified, but he's doing Indy yeah. and New York. Yeah. Um, Justin's so- already qualified? Justin, yeah, he won a show earlier this year. Did he? What did he win? Or won something end of last year. What did he do? No, I don't think he did. No, didn't he win? Uh, he won Indy earlier. No, Indy. That qualified next. him for this Olympia or last Olympia. He hasn't won a show yet. He hasn't won a show yet. Oh, okay. So no, but he'll win either one of those two. For He's sure. going to win Indy or New York. Yeah, for sure. Both. So Kuklo is is I is not qualified, but he, I mean, he looked pretty lean the guest posing he's doing. So maybe he's competing, but he said he was going to try and coast in on points because he's way ahead first place in points. Yeah. I just, shocked really that, I'm just shocked that more people aren't doing the Arnold because it's the Arnold's. Yeah. It, it was a bigger payday. And I, I think, but yeah, I mean the timing and it's far away from the Olympia. A lot of the top guys are already qualified. I, I didn't really expect to see it. And what's there. going on with the Arnold UK. I heard something about the fucking promoters are backed out or, I didn't hear anything. Oh, it's not happening? Somebody messaged me and they said, hey, do you know if the Arnold UK is happening? I heard something about the promoters. Yeah, something with the, with the guys got a lot of charges against them or something. Oh, huh. That's well, no good. Well, that fucking sucks. Um, okay, so does anybody know anything about Indy? Like, is it this weekend, next weekend? It's next weekend, I believe, too. I think it's two weeks. Does anybody know anybody doing the show? I know Charles. Well, is, it, is, it, uh, is it a week or two weeks before New York? I'm not sure. Okay, New York's yeah, yeah. the 21st. Just, Justin is second in points right now behind Steve. So this is Charles Griffin, who is one of the favorites going into Indy, who's yeah. learned to pull a vacuum. He, look, he, looks, he looks good. Look at he this fucking good. vacuum, man. His legs have improved a lot, and his waist looks way better. Well, the fact that he can do a vacuum now makes his legs look even better. I mean, look at this. There's a back video here that's a little edited, but either way, it looks just fucking, yeah, This back. one? Yeah, just, I know. This is just ridiculous, you know? Do you think he can beat Justin, though? I'm not sure, because Justin's... The thing is, they no. have opposite structures, right? Like, Justin is, like is just structurally too big, I think. This, for is, a thing. Who, this is a who thing. Who else is doing Indy? I'm not sure, but one second. Thing, I don't know. Like, so, they have an equal amount of muscle, but Rodriguez's shoulders are way too wide. Yeah, he's wide. Equal amount of muscle, oh. but Justin has that much Just, muscle. On Justin's him. wide, boy. Justin That's is what I'm wide. So I feel like the problem also is Charles, even though he's got a ton of muscle, has a little bit more compact structure. Yes. So now you're dealing with two guys who have an equal amount of muscle, but one guy's got fucking super wide shoulders and one guy's compact. Yeah. I think it's going to go in. Barring even conditioning, I give the edge to Justin. Yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. If the condition is even, you're right. But Justin um, has been going since early this year, so who knows if he's going to be. He looked good in the pictures he's been posting, but. Yeah, I, mean, I like. I, I think Justin's going to take it. Or the other thing is, I mean, there's a couple other variables. Like Ian said, he could get tired, whereas Charles looks like he's fresh and everything's we'll improved. Justin, Justin posted pictures yesterday or today, so he could be. Um, he might get rewarded based on being better too. <clears throat> Where's Justin Rodriguez? Isn't it like IFBB Justin or something? Yeah. Where the fuck is he? Just type Just in like IFBB Justin or something. Yeah. Oh, wait. Um, you, just type in Rodriguez. Did he block me? There he is. What no, that's not him. What's his name here? Let me find him. Justin Rodriguez, did you block me? No, I can't find him either. Oh, I can't either. Oh, shit. Get, did the shit get hacked? Well, let me try. Let me try. <laughs> let me try. Let me try. Are you fucking. He block us all? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, there he is. What is it? I got him. I got him. Justin D I F B B. Justin yeah, D I F B B. Oh yeah. Why? That was weird. He must be like shadow banned or something so that we can't search him, you know. No, this isn't him. Yeah, it is. Oh, yes, it is. What do you mean yeah, that's him, you goofball? Yeah, no, no. Is this recent? I saw the per- I saw the little picture in the emoji and it looked like him. Yeah, that's yeah, three that's hours recent. ago. Yeah, yeah. So he's just a big dude, you know? I don't know, Ian. It doesn't look as fresh. It doesn't. I agree. I agree with you there. I th- I do think he competes more than he should. But... Like these lines don't look as deep in here. His yeah. arms, look, arms look great. 
but he does have a, a very good knack of pulling it in. So yeah, he yeah. He, I mean, this one's a little. The last better, week but... he he does something and he looks retarded. So cool. If this gets pulled in at the end, then yeah. But if this is indicative of what his physique is going to look like condition wise, I think Charles. How many weeks is it? Two weeks out or three? Win. I believe it's two. Okay. Well, I don't know. Is there a yeah. poster? What is it? Just type in the show on the search bar. Indie. May 14th. Wait, 14. So two weeks, yeah. It's two weeks. Okay. Oh, Blessing's doing it too. Blessing's looking really, really good, actually. Yeah, his, legs, his legs obviously still need to come up to battle with guys like this, but I mean, he's definitely improved. I'm really curious to see what he looks like on stage with this new new pack. I think he's going to be uh, dramatically improved. I agree. I think Ian might be right, though. He might still be a little small yeah. in certain areas. He's a little top heavy, but I mean, it's it's yeah. going in the right direction. Yeah. Like this is really nice. Yeah. It depends, you know, like because the thing is about Charles and Justin, they both have a little something left to be desired. Like Justin might be a little soft if he's tired. Well, Blessing uh, also hasn't displayed from last year either that he's capable of getting in that kind of condition as well. So we're yet to see that also. But this is already better than last year's condition, Ian. Yeah. Uh, this is this is already I, I better. I won't say anything about anyone's condition until it's on stage. So we'll wait. I know. Right I'm now. just saying if we're, you know, we're playing a game here, obviously. Oh, yes. Here it does look great for sure. It looks better here than it looked last year on stage to me. Yes. Yeah. Um, and he looks like he has more muscle in certain areas. I just, yeah, I think it's really going to depend – <clears throat> I got to see Charles improvements on stage. It's hard looking at piece. It's hard looking at pieces of a body until you see the whole body all standing. Man, under, oh, I think I said lights. this already on the plug, but who I saw it when I was in Toronto that looks crazy good right now is Quinton. Is he doing indie or no? No, he's doing. Uh, I believe I, 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 I don't know if he wants to be saying this, but I mean, I think he's doing Tampa and Texas. Who's that? Quinton. Quinton. Uh, Akeem, Akeem's not qualified. What's Akeem doing? Well, yeah, what the fuck's he doing? I don't know. Uh, he was he was going to pull out of he pulled he out a strong Arnold, motherfucker for no reason. He pulled Sergio. out of Sergio's over in Dubai training now. He's not qualified. Yeah, he's not going to be doing India. I don't think though. Um, <laughs> Max Charles Hassan. Max Charles looks like, looks like he's getting ready for something. What the fuck is Hassan doing? Hassan's Hassan looks doing something soon. I think he's going to be in New York or something, isn't he? I don't know, but he looks like he's getting better and better. I'm hoping he hits the mark this year. He's yeah. working with a different... Who's he working with now? With Farah or someone, right? I don't know. No. I don't know. A coach with eyeballs? Um, and Shaban. That's really like the out of the Olympia guys that's left to qualify. Yeah. All right. Let's yeah, do a couple I guess more Akeem, questions. Akeem and Sergio are like the, the biggest names left to I have, that I have no idea what they're doing. Mo Shaban's a big one, too. And Siobhan. Siobhan. But I mean, you know, Siobhan, back he'll, is... he'll start in one show and he'll do the rest of the season, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, thoughts on large groups of people talking in the gym? No. Move. Annoying. Move, bitch. Get out the way. I don't really care, to be honest, as long as they're not. Take that shit somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. Go to Starbucks. Go to Starbucks <laughs> and have a coffee. Have a fucking coffee. And a fucking coffee, eh? Yeah, coffee. Do you wash your feet in the shower? Yes. What? Of course. Where else are you supposed to wash your feet? You bimbo? Maybe, Maybe they're, they're saying they're too Maybe jacked. They're, yeah. they're, too yeah. they're too lazy to wash your feet. Get a, get, get, get a back scrubber and use it on your do feet. you really wash your feet, though? Yeah, I do. Do you wash the bottom of your feet? Yes. Yeah. I have trouble Why? washing the bottom of my feet. You're you not that big. I'm not that flexible. I wash yeah. the bottom of my feet maybe once every three showers. See? <laughs> I knew one of us was like that. I reach like down to the top and I get my ankles and all my legs, but the, I'll only you don't do like a quick you don't do like a quick lift and maybe yeah, maybe I might do that, yeah, but it's not a good scrub, is what I'm saying. I don't give a well, good throw scrub. scrub them. I just fucking I mean why did you do this stop. when you're scrubbing? We don't scrubs like this. <laughs> I went like this. I went no, like you this. didn't, you went like this. That's how we scrub like his feet. Scrub it up, Deb. Yeah, I got a loofah, bro. Yeah, bro. Yeah, bro. Speaking of fucking voices, how funny is Jose on Telegram lately? Uh, 
I can't keep up all the time, man. Sometimes I get back and it's like 47. Fucking, I die la- I just I just hit one and I'll just listen to it when I'm like making breakfast and laugh yeah. my ass off. Um, what's the chance this guy doesn't have a girlfriend because he likes wiener and doesn't want to admit it? <laughs> <laughs> Love me some dick. <laughs> what kind of dick's your favorite? Yeah, the, the long skinny kind. Oh. Uncircumcised or circumcised? No, like, oh. hey, you're asking you about like ant eaters now. You want to get a jab with a long, sharp one? A fucking ant eater. <laughs> I rather, I rather that than fucking try to like. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I guess if you're a guy, you gotta take the the the. Ask me and ask me in your your. What would you do? Huh? The oh, the last, first or the yeah, last? Yeah, the oh. first or the last. So the first. <laughs> 80% of a, was this 80 or 70? Wait a minute. Before I, <laughs> Ant's, Ant's already rubbing his face. Wait a minute. Before you ask this. So wait, the I, first 70% or the last 30 of a guy fucking you? No. No. Oh, blow job. no. no. The a blow job. Sorry. Yeah. It's the first 90 or the last 10. Yes, that's it. Like, so like of, the first of you giving a blow job. Minutes, In other words, do you want to suck a dick seconds. or do you want to swallow cum? Yeah, yeah so, so it's like, like you've got to second dick for 10 minutes yeah, or yeah. one minute and have a cum in your mouth. No, it's like, no, no, no. Yeah, it's like. It's like five at a five minute blowjob, four minute and thirty seconds you're sucking, or thirty seconds you're fucking sucking and taking a load. Yeah, oh, thirty seconds. You gotta, you gotta swallow. Oh, John Lee, he's with me, baby. He's why are you thinking? Why do you think that's winning? I think that's less the lesser like, of the yes, day. Yes, we both take loads of the mouth. <laughs> Dude, do you know how long it would be? Team to suck Bukaki, a baby. Fuck that. Team Bukaki. <laughs> Team Swallow. All right, me and Ian. <laughs> for sure i mean look like i swallowed some gross there. shit in my life so like i'll just man up but i don't want to suck a dick for five minutes you know I, that's what i said nick what do you I said i felt like say? the last 30 seconds were the lesser gay i also know. wait i also don't know like it's only gay if you're gay guy well i don't I, yeah but like so it doesn't matter how <laughs> how braggadocious are we trying to be about our dick sucking stills here maybe this is going to take us like 25 minutes no know? we've already established that it's that's five minutes or 10 minutes whatever but okay. it's the last Five percent or the first ninety-five percent. And it's now going from five to ten. Hmm. I figure for as much Starbucks. It doesn't matter drink. whether it's five or ten. Either way, I'm taking. The no, last it three. does matter. It does matter because if the no, guy's for me, gonna... it doesn't. For me, it doesn't. Wait, hold on. For so me, wait, it does. On. Wait, hold on. Foot. If it was ten minutes, now you're going to change. Yeah, it might change. Yeah. Wow. I don't want to suck a dick for nine and a half minutes. I'm sucking a dick. <laughs> so where's your cutoff? Like you're still taking. Minutes, you're still sucking for. Nick, nine. And a... Think about how long nine and a half minutes are on a treadmill. <laughs> but it's way well, worse imagine nine and a half minutes walking on a treadmill and sucking dick uh, same time and what if he wants you to look him in the eyes at the same time <laughs> oh well, uh. well, are you gonna are you going to <laughs> nick you're a weirdo next question i didn't say anything did you get a shirt that says nine and a half <laughs> Uh, all right, let's do ninety percent, nine point five. Uh, that's gross. I don't know. Let's end on the dick sucking. We have one more. <laughs> you want to end on that? That's how you want to end this fucking podcast. Um, we've done all of these. Maybe you should delete the whole post and repost. I think you need to put up a brand new post of questions. Yeah, like we Dude, do there's this. There's 600 questions. We do four every podcast. Why yeah, but this do... has been up for months. Like you got no, to delete no, the whole. This was post. last week's. Oh, this was last okay. week's. Oh. Um. Then how do you know we've done these? And I thought you deleted the question. Okay, after. fine. Fine. We'll do rapid fire. Most ins- okay. No. Uh, <laughs> is sumo Maybe deadlifting? Is sumo deadlifting cheating? Yes. Oh, <laughs> mm, that's a tough one. For what? Just in general. No, it's not. But it's cheating? Still- no, just to get—I mean, to to shorten your range a little bit. Yeah. Is it cheating? No. Is it lame? Yes. Okay, I agree. I'll give you that. I'll give you that. I agreed. When you travel, what do you do about your cycle? Bring it with. Don't take it. <clears throat> I'm pleading the fifth on this one. Yeah, you, <laughs> you should. <laughs> I know nothing of by, by, by default. Yeah. <laughs> Does classic shape make an open bodybuilder look small? Yeah, yes. 
No, classic Dennis, lines Dennis, don't. Dennis classic Wolf had lines classic. don't. Dennis Wolf had classic shape. He didn't look small. Uh, well, I mean, technically, better shape will make you look bigger, not smaller. Yeah. More Plus, of an yeah. X frame can make you look bigger, not smaller. What dog breed would each bro chat member be? I'd probably be my lab. Well, guy would be like a. There you go. A guy's jail. like a Jack Russell. Yeah, jail. <laughs> well, I'm serious. Be I'm being this serious. Way. Why small dog? Jack small Russell is small but very smart, very aggressive. Can like chase away pug. can chase away a bear. He's very cute, very tough, very smart, but small. See? Tell me that's wrong. Is your girlfriend talking to you over there? Yeah, your dog's girl. huffing and puffing. Oh. You okay? Is she okay? I'm a pit bull. You're not a fucking pit bull. You're a bull. No, fuck am I then? You're a bulldog. He's an English bulldog. Yeah. You're an English bulldog for sure. I don't know if I like that. Ian's what? like a awesome. Ian's like a fucking German Shepherd. What? Why is he? Why am I an English bulldog? He's a German Shepherd. <laughs> because of your personalities. <laughs> Can I be a Siberian Husky? No, Ian's closer to a Siberian Husky. <laughs> Can I be a Rottweiler? <laughs> maybe, or maybe a Rottweiler. Not really, though. You're like a yeah. Mastiff, big and slow. Yeah, oh, yeah he like, could be. No, he could be like a. Yeah, he could be like a Mastiff. Mastiff. You okay. know, like big, but like still like oh, a little drooly. Not the Kane Corso, not the Kane Corso one. I want to be Kane Corso. No, well, like no. a Neapolitan Mastiff. Yeah, you know? you're like the Neapolitan Mastiff. <laughs> or an English you're Mastiff. Too, you're ah. too nice. You're too nice to be a Kane Corso. I want to be a Kane Corso. Mm, I don't see Is your dog. Okay? I can be. I can be a real yeah. dick. Don't tempt me. Yeah, but so can a don't bulldog. Me with a good time. I still think you're a bulldog. My dog's a bulldog, but you called me an English bulldog. I don't want to be an English bulldog. No, you're an English bulldog. You're not a bulldog. I want to be like an excellent American bully. Can I be an American bully? Tell me, okay, in the comment section, tell me you I'm can't. wrong. Guy is a fucking Jack Russell. Ian is a you're German a fucking shepherd. jackass. Ian is a German shepherd. And fucking Nick is a, a, an English bulldog. What do you think I am then? <laughs> she says no, I'm a yellow lab. No, you're German shepherd. What the fuck German, are you, Fuad? I'm a lab. No. What do you think he is? She's laughing. I don't know. Why. Don't shit on me, Melissa. Who has, those, who has one of those weenie dogs? Fuck you. <laughs> the dachshund? Are they dachshunds? That's a dachshund. I'm like yeah, a fucking, a... I'm a wolf. Dachshund. That's what I am. You know, goddamn wolf. I'm a wolf. This guy gets a lab and he's a wolf now. <laughs> it's fucking weird. I was being honest. I said I'm a lab. I'm a good family house pet. I'm good. I'm good with kids. I'm, but still able to protect if I have to. It's sure. Good. It's good. I'm a lad. Yeah. Okay. I'm they're a not a, they're not especially they're not especially smart, but they're good listeners. Yeah. I'm a Jack Russell. Yeah. Huh? <laughs> Jack what'd, you, Russell. what'd you say, Ian? I said whatever you want. <laughs> I'm a well, Jack am I wrong? Russell. Tell me I'm wrong. I don't know. Sure. I'm well, a Jack guy Russell. is definitely a Jack Russell. How? Because very aggressive. <laughs> Even how you're saying how is Jack Russell. You know? <laughs> like how? How? <laughs> ruff, ruff. You know? <laughs> Why would you not want to be a Jack dog. Russell? They're fucking super. What smart. Melissa say? <clears throat> what? What did Melissa say? No, I said my dogs. I start barking. My dogs. Oh. Oh. Why wouldn't you want to be a Jack Russell? Because they're just small and like eh. He yeah, wants to be a more masculine dog. But they're super smart and they're very protective. So are pitbulls. So are chihuahuas. Nah, pitbulls are not pit as smart as. <laughs> pitbulls are not as smart as Jack Russells. Says who? Wikipedia. They're, not. they're just not. I think Fuad is correct on that, yeah. Whatever, Jack Russell is like up there with like a border collie. They're like some of the smartest dogs. Well, I don't know if it's that high, but it's pretty close, yeah. And they chase away bears and shit. That's you, right? Mm -hmm. Your hunting skills, same. I feel like guys are poodles. (laughs) No, definitely not a poodle. Definitely not a poodle. Yo, standard poodles, like the real poodles, they're fucking scary, man. I would This guy has a fucking... This guy's a pit bull for six fucking weeks and he wants to be a fucking uh, a bully, <laughs> mastiff, Staffshire fucking pit bull, fucking rawr. It doesn't have so, to do with the animal. Remember you had a fucking Frenchie before him, okay, pal? Hey, Ian's got a Frenchie. I, I got two Frenchies. I'm just saying, remember what he had prior to fucking the dog he has currently. Thor. But the, what you have as an animal doesn't make you what the animal Thor, is. You're not, Thor, you're not his first kid, all right? Don't let him fool you. <laughs> My third kid. I yeah, want to know what Melissa there. thinks. For who? Everybody. Oh, great. 
Okay, start with Guy. What do you think Guy is? <laughs> Small as first, go. No, I think Guy is maybe like an Australian Shepherd. She thinks he, Guy is an Australian Shepherd. <laughs> That's good. That's a good one. I think Dick is a... <laughs> She's like making funny faces, like trying to like think of dogs with people's faces, you know? This is Guy. I think Nick is maybe like a she thinks Nick is like one of the, the big Beethoven dogs. What are those? Like, I could go for that. Bernard, St. Bernard. Bernard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no, not that. I think who has like a... The brown. Yeah, it's Nick. Yeah. That's Nick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Just drool all over your chest and not even fucking... <laughs> Just you your fucking... Black, brown, white, and just... Everybody loves the St. Bernard, though. It's perfect for Nick. Okay, what's Fuad? He used to be a dog. He's like a shih tzu. She, she, thinks you <laughs> to, she thinks you need to be a dog that's, like, a little bit grumpy, you know? Like a Sharpe. Like a Sharpe. Like Sharpe. Eeyore. No, like, like, a, like if Eeyore was a dog. Like this. This is me. No, not Akito. <laughs> oh, yeah. What's that dog? An Akita. Yeah. Akita. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Okay, I'll take that. That's me. Yeah. Oh, you want to know why I'll take it? Because it looks like more like a wolf than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> You're all idiots. Every one of you. It's because they're, they're aggressive. Mean. Akitas are pretty mean, too. They are mean. I am a kid. I'm an Akita. Okay. As long but as an Australian. Loyal. But, they're loyal, but they're very as loyal. Long, as long as, hey, as long as an Australian shepherd can take out an Akita, I'm good. It can't. Oh, no, you're fucked. Sorry, dude. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but Akitas are pretty fucking tough, aren't they? Google right. it now. Now. So what's, what's Ian? I want to know what Ian is. Ian is a golden retriever. She thinks I'm a golden retriever. I don't agree with Melissa. Yeah. His hair kind of goes with it, too, right now. husband that always wants to be rubbed, so it's true. Yeah, that looks like Ian. Right before a dead wolf. <laughs> like Ann or Ian? Ian. Who's Ann? Who's Ann? Ann. <laughs> Ann Frank? Frank? What does Anne look like? <laughs> you never get it right. <laughs> yeah. I missed you guys, man. Fuck. I took a, yeah. took a few days off the podcast and I missed the boys. Yeah. We're going to have fun in June, man. Listen, everybody watching, get your fucking tickets. They're on sale. We're going to have a lot of fun. Get your fucking tickets. Who am I? What are you, Jose? <laughs> <laughs> um. No, it's going to be a good time. We're all going to be there. We're going to have a good time. Everyone's going to fucking... I think VIP gets to train with us after. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be fun. There's going to be a lot of cool stuff there. So, check out the website. Where are we training? Where are we training? I don't know. You guys know Jersey. Where are we training? Um, I don't know down there. Where's... Well, uh... I think Patrick, the owner of Aries Nutrition, for those of you who know Patrick. Oh, we trained at PSA the last time. He said there was a place where we could go... It'd be a little bit more private, so the winners of the VIP raffle could Nick, train PSA? with us, and we can go train. It'll probably be PSA. Yeah, it yeah. wouldn't be as uh. As That's crazy. a pretty cool gym. I I do like it there. Yeah, it's all red, white, red, red and blue. Yeah, and they just blast hardcore music in there. Well, whatever yeah. it was, I think he said they would close it down for us for a couple hours, so we could do this VIP thing with whoever. Oh, good. Had. Yeah. Yeah. Nick, how do you like MI40? I love MI40. Yeah. You need to come train at MI40. I know. I've actually never been there. You would you would not want to leave MI40. That's awesome, bro. Yeah. You've never been to MI40? It, I thought you would went for sure. No. They don't. All the times I've been down that area, like it's Tampa. I've been there a million times, but before shows, I'm always like, I don't want to go to MI40. It's like, you know. Do you get along with Ben? Uh, yeah. Like, I like you I don't. don't... Talk, have you talked to him or that much or no? Uh, I haven't talked to Ben in probably two to three years. Oh, okay. Okay. I think I saw him at the Olympia once and just said, what's up? Like briefly. But other than that, it was only just like the times I saw him on stage, which I mean, was always good. Like I have only good experiences with Ben. Um, but I, I wouldn't say I know Ben by any means now. Yeah. yeah. So, but cool. he's not part of MI40 anymore, is he? I thought he was owner. Uh, yes. Owner? Yes. And no, his, his wife owns it now. Yeah. Amanda. Right? But is he involved? Yeah. Or no? well, Zach, I don't know. Zach's I don't wife. believe so. Is it his ex-wife? I don't know. Yeah, I don't want to talk about this. It's somebody else's. Yeah. Personal yeah. business, but Ben, I didn't know Ben was. I thought it was his gym. But he, he no, he's still involved because he he messaged me. I guess when he's coming back from Canada, he wants to train legs. So yeah. don't so, train legs with Ben. <laughs> He'll fuck you up, eh? Yeah, I know. I'm excited. Have you trained legs with him yet? I haven't, no. but I've heard stories. And I have. You've trained legs with Ben. 
Did he kill you? He's rough, man. He's very technical. Yeah. But he's not just technical. He's very like he buries he's like people. A super like high volume. Oh, he, bur- yeah, he buries you because he's te- he makes you technically do it perfect. Yeah. And that's not easy to do for like heavyweight and reps either. Yeah. But it's not just to me what I've seen, because I've seen him train people and it's like it's more the fail- failure is fucking real yeah. failure. Like it's yeah. Yeah. Okay, I have a question for this. For guys with physiques like that, where he was so lower body dominant, and when you see their training, that it's like, okay, it kind of makes sense that his legs got that way. Do you think they just don't train their upper body the same, or is it a genetic difference? Like that to it. From my, from my understanding, Ben tried every different type of technique for his back. Yeah. And it just, I think it's genetic, like, man. It's like, look at, look at Johnny Jackson. Yeah, that's true. Total freak upper body and squats totally crazy weight and does tons of volume and his legs just never caught up to his upper body. Yeah. I think it's just genetic, you know, look at Eric Fankhauser. Yeah, that's true. Eric Fankhauser. I always just think sometimes like, and I have a client that was like this too, but I think they just like love training have, legs so much, have like a thing with training legs and they can like somehow put themselves in a different place to train legs and they can, and they're more motivated than they are to train upper body. I find it hard to believe that because I feel like no, nah, because my legs were my dominant body part, and I try to trash my upper body. I don't think your legs were ever dominant, but anyway. So, what I was saying, I have small arms, <laughs> or just a different like or different like my muscle connection, That's like the guys connect I'm with just their legs. Fucking around, I know you are. Um, no, what I'm thinking is. I feel like it would be the opposite if somebody could bring themselves to the well. End look, of and the- that, to me, I, I agree that's logically, but I, I don't think that is the case for everyone. So, you, what you think is the they motivate themselves in such a way to bring their, bring their leg training to like a place some guys like- just love leg training and just fucking give her on the leg training, you know? Yeah, I don't know if that applies to those guys though because I know, I they know all- but you have to give a lot more. I think on legs. No, no. What I'm saying I is, I don't, disagree. I don't know if it apl- applies to them because I feel like those guys wanted to be such great pros. Like when I think of. When I think of Ben or Eric Fankhauser or like even Tom Platts. Yeah, no, and I'm not necessarily speaking about just these guys. I mean, guys in general that have big legs. Do you think it's always, you think it's a genetic thing or like there's probably some others? Yeah. Genetic I, per, I personally yeah. do. Because even if you look at like uh, Jonathan Withers, another great, yeah. exa- another great example, I think yeah. it's genetically freakish legs. And I think, you know, from the videos I've seen of him on Instagram or whatever, he trains upper body just as hard as anybody else I've seen. Yeah. And he just genetically, his legs are where he carries most of his muscle yeah i mean look at look at like everyone has like look at nick's arms right like yeah. everybody has something that's just fucking stupid nick's right. never even trained his arms once in his life nick's barely trained yeah that's just what he looks just like born with those arms yeah. <laughs> never trained how hard do you train arms seriously nick you I really arms. don't no 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 I don't, I don't, they don't have an arm. Like I hit like two exercises at their chest. And- yeah. But was it always that way? Or did you used to hit them like crazy when you were younger? I never hit them crazy, but I used to have an arm day. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but I, I was a high volume guy for arms. I feel like some people just have shit that responds better, I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Like, see for me, like, I feel like everything responds the same, but the stuff like say like my chest that might be lagging. I don't feel that it's, I feel like it's more because of my connection than my chest than it is because of intensity or training or anything like that. I think it's just well, I have a harder time keeping my, delts, keeping my delts and triceps out of it. And I, I developed them a lot more than I did my chest. I was just going to say that it's like usually guys with huge shoulders and triceps have smaller chests and vice versa. Yeah. Like my yeah. triceps are shit, but my chest is big. Yeah. So it's like it usually works one way or the other. But you know what, man? I'd be proud to be somebody with a. It's weird. Because in bodybuilding, they say the most symmetrical, most proportionate physique wins, but that's not the case. No. Usually the guys with some type of freakish body part get a look first. For sure. So like I I always I was always upset because my body never I never had a standout body part. Nothing ever like really stuck out. I mean, I honestly think that freakish arms is that thing. Yeah. Like when you think of like Kevin or like freakish guys, legs like- too. Freakish like if you look at Branch Warren, like he made his career on those legs. He, yeah but he still had a crazy back and like he still had some good shit yeah he know? was big up top yeah 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 like i mean i'm talking about like you know you see some of these and i'm sorry to like say i'm pulling out another racist thing here but you see some of these like asian ipb pros that have like fucking crazy legs. legs and smaller upper bodies they don't necessarily yeah. play super super good you're right in yeah. bodybuilding having like fucking crazy arms can go a long way you know yeah i've said that before it makes it it makes the whole illusion look like better. phil kevin nick i mean you know these yeah. kind of guys with just mutant arms you know yeah Hunter, like- you know, if Nick had smaller arms, it probably wouldn't be as impressive. 
No, it would it, it takes it makes a big difference for <laughs> sure. <though. laughs> but I mean, think of your physique exact same as it was with I fucking know. arms on it. You know, I've said that before. I've said when I my the prime example I think of is Roly. Yeah. When you, when you think of Roly, Roly has bigger obliques. Yes. But it doesn't, you don't notice it because his arms are fucking 24 inches. His arms mask a lot of his weaknesses. Yes. You know? Yeah. yeah. Our big arms can mask, can create a great illusion. Um, right. Okay, boys. Not the synth all, boys. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Till next week, everybody. All right. We'll see you guys. Good times, man. See you. See Bye. you guys. Assalamu alaikum. Bye. Bye. Wait, stay on. Don't hang up. Okay. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay. Bye, everybody. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, share with your friends, and like the video. And if you get a chance, check out the description for all the different links to all the different places you can find Hostile and myself. And lastly, check out Hostile.com for our new line of supplements and all of our apparel and gear. Thanks again for watching.